Expectations are very high. Some of us are labeled as highly ranked players. That expectation is they set real high. You know, I get a lot of tweets all the time about the team, what we're capable of doing. Really just trying to win every game, trying to do what we can. It's just going to be our last one, so we got to have fun with it. But also, we're going to try to win as much games as possible. The guys that we have put together is probably talent-wise the most talent we've ever had on one team. Okay. Game breaker right there. <laughs> That's old school. <laughs> this is probably the most talented team in the country. We've got so much talent here, it's ridiculous. Worst thing to have is the best talent and never win. Okay, we're not doing that this year. I think the expectations are really high and I think we can live up to them. Go time, baby. It's go time. Shout out to Home Depot. Did you see it? He jumped over him. Shout out to Home Team Hoops. We in here, baby. We live. Athletic and jump out the gym. A lot of people don't know who JoJo is. By the end of the summer, they will. Oh! oh I'm talking about JoJo. Oh, I'm talking about JoJo. Going down big. Home see who's baby. Yeah. <laughs> Florida rounds, we're going hard this summer. I'm Casey Hill. I play for My Bird Academy and the Florida Rams. I'm from Umatilla, Florida. I'm basically just um, a regular kid and a kid who loves to play basketball. <laughs> My game is like I'm just, I'm a laid back player. I like to get my teammates involved. I like to get out of transition and go. I'm label right now is that like, I can't shoot, but I'm trying to prove people wrong with that. Casey's pretty good. He's explosive, really explosive, and he's fun to watch.
D'Angelo Russell, my Verd Academy. I try to learn from him, like just like how he how he carries himself and how the moves he do in the game, what he does to make them work, and what I can do to see if I can pick up a certain move if it works against a certain defender. Here at Mount Verde, I, I have to have an impact, but there's also other players around me that's just as good as me. So I have to get those players involved too and just, it can't all just be about me. Today I started off at 8.30 this morning with my high school team. <laughs> Right now, my bird was just practicing, going real hard, getting prepared for the national tournament. I've been playing high school basketball since I was in sixth grade. I was at Mount Dora Bible, which is a Christian school, where they allowed me to play varsity basketball since sixth grade, well, in the sixth grade, and ever since then I've been playing. I wake up early sometimes and lift in the mornings at about five, and I leave the house around about 6.30 and lift for a good hour and a half. And then I come back home, and then I come to school all day, and then I shoot during lunch. It's about around noon. And then we either have practice after school or we have it later on that night. So mostly like it's like all day kind of. another practice after that with my AU team. I put in a lot of work because I know if I don't, then other people are gonna catch up to me. If I do, then I know that there's the only way I can go and the only way I can go is up and get better and better. So you have to put in as much work as you can or other people are gonna catch up to you. Gonna get the practice in, man. I'm gonna get it in. I wear my name, Chris Walker. Bottom State, Florida, playing the foot around. I gotta work. I get this good practice in. Got another one later on today. We're about to get in and do work. Let's do this. I'm Ryan Curry. We're about to shoot a documentary for the Florida Rams. Follow them around all summer. We got top players like Chris Walker, Casey Hill, Demarcus Coker, Brennan Green. Tell us about your crew for this documentary. Got my boy Scott Bynum on here, Neil. We're about to make it happen. We only have two weekends of practice and we play the rest of the year. So we have to coach in hotel rooms. We coach through the whole season. So while we're here, I want 110% out of you guys. We're gonna learn how to trap, press, and run. Tempo of the game is how we're gonna push it all year long. And the only way we can do that is to work our ass off in here for the next two weeks. This is Coach Dave. Dave's been doing AAU for at least 12, 15 years like me. Um, Dexter, Moore, you guys all know Matt Ramker. He runs everything. He's the reason everybody's here. My name is Matt Ramker. I'm the president and general manager of Florida Rams. I had great coaches, great people around me to, to help us grow the program. It's been a painstaking process, but it's definitely paid off. And Jeff's done a great job. Jeff coached our team that won the Adidas Invitational last year. It's the first national tournament that the program has won. We played live on CBS Sports Network. He does an unbelievable job relating to the kids and you know, the kids respect him a lot, and I'm very, very happy to have Jeff in the program for sure. I'm Jeff Simmons, uh, coach of the Florida Rams, 17 and under. I've been coaching a basketball for at least 10 years. I have a couple of local businesses, kind of just do it for the love, help the guys get into college. Great thing about being on this team is that many of you, if not all of you, have already established yourself as basketball players. People know who you are already. Hardest thing about being on a team like this is we lose focus on what we're here for, and that's to win games. We have to be not as hungry, but more hungry than the kid that's trying to take your spot. Every trip that we take is a business trip. You guys have already had all the trips that you're going to take having fun. 
this summer should be about business for all of you. This is the last time most of you guys get to do this. So let's make sure the last one is the best one. We're gonna hit the baseline, we're gonna get started. You gotta get to work, all right? Let's go, baseline, let's go. First day of practice is, it's fun. We're just trying to really like get to know each other and stuff like that. And seeing how well like the team is gonna bond and how our chemistry can be better. Yeah, just running around. Well, we got, we got to talk. First day of practice was good, you know, getting to meet all the guys. Y'all eat lying back to camp? Brandon Green, one of the best shooting guards in the country. May be the best shooting guard in the country. He's just a total all around player. Um, skill levels off the charts. His basketball IQ is great. His vocal leadership as coming in, just a new person in day one was incredible. I say I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, but really I'm from Juliet, Georgia. It's about 45 minutes south of Atlanta, a uh, small town. Not a whole lot to do, just play basketball. The chemistry has been good. Um, I already know about three of the players, Demarcus, Chris, and Casey. Talked to Casey ever since the Florida visit that we went together on, known Chris since eighth grade. Yeah. We ain't lose back in eighth grade. Talk one game. Take your boy back then too. Yeah, he just, he just used to block shots. He can't really score like that. I used to get all the buckets on, on the field. I used to get 10 to steal. Come on. <laughs> we used to get like 12 blocks a game though. <laughs> You can be selfish when you think, I get to shoot. If I get open, if I use my screens right, I get a jumper somewhere around here. And think about it, that's your early offense. So now, what can we purchase it? Where are you from? Right? Same thing. Okay, what can we Keep running, you stop taking it. Now, I don't want Casey ever to dribble across half court on a direct line. Whenever you're dribbling across half court in transition, you want an extra floor. You, you, want, you don't want to go straight line. If I'm Chris and I'm B, you got to pay us for re rebounding and running the floor. You got to pay us. You got to pay us. Good. There we go. Back, 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 back. Whoa! You really rim running, Chris. Putting pressure on them jokers. There is no way they're going to defend that. They're not going to defend it. Yeah, I know at KU, and make them pass it. I'm ready to go ahead and get to that joint, too. I'm ready to go ahead and get to the Okay. I want you to be able to shape up and catch the alley-oop and send it down. If the defense and the guard gets all the way to the block with the ball, I want you to be able to shape up to the rim and catch it off the backboard because there's going to be passes off the backboard and we're going to finish them, okay? Everybody has to beat their man off the dribble. Okay, B? That's my point. If this this doesn't work, if everybody doesn't try to attack the basket. If you're just playing this offense to pass, it's not going to work. I'm going to take the rim home with me. <laughs> Chris ain't got the handies though. <laughs> Jojo, Chris, you got to be squared up to where when he throws that ball, it's going on every time. Good hard man-to-man -man defense. No cheating the plays. Don't don't go under the screens. I want you to stay with your man, okay? That, I want y'all to understand how the play is gonna work against a team that's actually gonna play defense. Boy, boy, boy! Go, Joe! Go, Joe! Come on, Joe, Joe! Sit down, Joe, Joe! 
Ah, we gotta give him a sit down for the cold one. Best point guard I've done seen in AAU and high school basketball so far. I haven't really seen nobody that could play like him. First time I seen him play, um, he was ninth grade. We was at um, St. Louis, and when I seen him just go and duck on his dude, 6'11 dude, as a freshman, I was like, whoa, who is this kid? So Casey's real good, athletic, and um, humble person. Hey, be up now, be up, get stopped. Hey, 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 that way. Let's go, let's go. Get it back, get it back. Get it back. Three minutes. Get it back. Go, step it up. One more. Get it back. Memphis, Memphis, Memphis. Get it back. Nobody out there cares if you shoot the ball. That's what you do. Yeah, Chris. Come out, come out. No. All right. Skin ball on the side. Your ball. Good job, I can't help you. Try it, hey, you. 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 Hey, so this is, this is gonna be here. We're gonna call it Jayhawk, and we're gonna learn it, and we're gonna learn it from both squads, and then we're gonna scrimmage at half court, and then we're gonna eat. Let's go. Let's go. We that whole gator. Hey, hey, hey. that whole Jayhawk, Jayhawk. Him and Casey Hill kind of hit it off. One floor general to the other. They they just have an instant bond, which is great. And, and I watch Chris Walker at, at 6'10", 6'11", whatever he is just move without the ball and do a lot of nice things already. I think our big three, they're going to have a good season. I got that Jones. I, I, I don't even play it. I got like 15 million. I thought. Yeah, right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. You can ride. Yeah, you can ride. Yeah. Round that up. He wants to pause they and went back it. to it. That's my high school for real. Uh, stop laughing. <laughs> oh. Casey, why are you laughing? Oh, oh, I'm laughing. Give him some water. Cramping. <laughs> Let me see it, Chris. DeMarc, he's super athletic. I've never seen anybody as, as athletic as him, except for maybe Shaq Johnson out of Atlanta, Georgia. But the dude has crazy bounce, uh, nice mid-range game. Yes! Yes! yes. yes. Game breaker right there. That's old school. <laughs> I just met Demarcus, but very athletic. I love to be around him. Cool dude. I'm Demarcus Croker, Jones High School. Um, that's about it. <laughs> Orlando, Florida. You know, grew up um, Palmore, 18th Street, Rio Grande. But basically, my whole family. But if I have to describe my game in some way, I say I'm super athletic. Can jump out the gym. <laughs> Whenever I think of DeMarcus, I just think of super athletic. You know, he's above the rim, everything, plays hard, defender. It's just everything we need. Pieces of the team, pieces of the puzzle. I've known DeMarcus since sixth grade. We played together, Nike Team Florida and Team Orlando. He's a bouncy guy, he can shoot. I think he's a little bit underrated, and he will show people this year how good he really is. <laughs> Nike team in Florida, me, Casey, and Joe Bears on the same team. We was down by 
like 18, 20 points with like a minute and 20 something left and we came back and I hit the game winning bucket. First day of practice, it was pretty good. Um, everybody just getting used to each other, trying to build a little bond with each other so we can go win every game. For the war, right? So far, it's been great. I feel like um, all the older people are loyal and they're gonna tell you when you're doing bad and they're gonna tell you when you're doing good. I had Chris Walker last year, but he's new to me. I was coaching a different team. I consider Chris as being new. Chris is, he's crazy, but he's funny, but he's a good player. He plays above the rim. He plays a great defense and I'm looking forward to playing with him. And then Chris Walker. I'm from Bonnie Bay, Florida, and I played a three and a four and a five. Oh, man, he's crazy athletic and he's long. I would definitely consider it as a family because everybody's always together laughing, having fun. You got the 2K. I do. You play 2K? I, I, got, you, I got Xbox. I hope you play. Who you play with? Uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Everybody play with them. I can't play with Kevin Durant for nothing. But James Harden, like, I gotta yeah, play James Harden. Harden. Yeah. I never played with I play with the Knicks and yeah. the Heat. successful every weekend and every game we have to bring a certain mental toughness and today we have to show that okay I, I just watched yesterday I knew we would have some disabilities today we have none everybody slept everybody's eating we're here we got two and a half hours to work and we're all going home and I won't see you another, for another week everybody work hard on three one, one two, two three, three. Work hard. Let's work go. Hard. <laughs> so we got two lines yeah yeah line 17 let's go stay up Jojo is from Africa, and the country in Africa is called Cameroon. He came on to my school, my bird, around September. You could tell that he was going to be good, but his talent was real raw. 
He hasn't been playing basketball that long at all. He really doesn't talk about too much about when he played back at home. So I'm assuming that he that he didn't really play that much until he got over here. And somebody just saw his height and said, you know, we could use it and work with it. And he has a natural feel for the game. Jojo is really, he's a real outgoing and funny. Uh, when he got over here, he wasn't to himself. He, you know, he socialized with all of us and learned English really fast by listening to numerous different rap songs and stuff like that. So Jojo's funny. You know, he jokes around a lot. He knows that when game time's come, that it's serious. And, you know, he takes care of his business. Since then, he's been working and, you know, trying to improve his post play. You know, trying to play without, you know, filing just hands straight up. And I think he's come a long way from, from day one when I saw him to now. And I think he has, you know, a lot of potential to get, you know, very good. Yeah, all, all the same dish. And then go up. Take a jump shot. Ball fake him and get to the rim. Damn a jump shot at that point. You ought to beat your man. Make the next man foul you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Jojo. City, baby. 
It's like a Blake Griffin and Chris Paul show. <laughs> Straight up. What do you want? What do you want? Blake Griffin and Chris Paul. Okay. Our chemistry is going to come along, but the first couple days I was really impressed with our basketball IQ and our skill and talent level. It, it's, it's off the charts. So, sky's the limit. You know, we had a lot of chemistry to work on and a, a lot of things to put in, but uh, I think we're going to be all right. Joe? Joe, Joe, way to hustle, man. Everybody did a great job. I thought it was a good weekend of practice. Great weekend. I'm very excited. You know, not only just the basketball side of it, I think everybody's personality is gonna is really gonna mesh and it's gonna be exciting. This group is gonna be really special. I mean, I, we're gonna set the bar high. I mean, we should win every tournament we play in. Do not go to the dorm yet. Yeah. All right? Yeah, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Y'all see Joe, Joe leave his ass. <laughs> What's up, man? These are some nice shoes. These are really nice. Not even out yet. Remember that, guys. Go down, Mark. I told you could do it. I told you, man. My first day trying, I got it. I love you, G. First day ever trying, I did it. Right here. Home, home team hoops. Home team hoops, baby. Let's do this. I got to see that. Yes, sir, man. We're room 167. So. 167? Yeah. I don't know what I room number, but I'll let you know when I get the key. <laughs> you got Ryan's number? Yeah. I hit him up. How you feel, though? Good workout? Real good workout. Getting ready for tomorrow, man. Oh, good. Cool. You come with each one, teach one. I don't even know where we even stand. We're in sleep in the gutter tonight. <laughs> so you just got off the plane? Oh, yes. Come on, Panama City. Get ready for the game tomorrow. Gonna go off. And I'm gonna get about three dunks. Well, more than that, you know, high school average, I'm like 32, 16 rebounds, and like six blocks. Oh, yeah? That was killing. Boy, these are the great ones. It don't matter. Sure world, bro. Just yeah. <laughs> Only reason I let Chris get in the front, because he said, if I let him get in the front, he's not going to pass me the ball tomorrow. Straight <laughs> <laughs> up. It's not because he's 6'9"? No. He said he won't go pass me the ball. I just had to give it up. I mean, he my boy. I got to give it to him. Is Brandon here? I don't know if Brandon here yet. I don't think so. It's in the car. Look good. Play good. They take you. Look at my hair. <laughs> I mean, I can always pick you up, bro. No, man. <laughs> I'm just nobody. After what happened to me one time. Yeah, I'm the same way, man. I don't put the butt on my head. You messed me up real bad. Yeah, that one You want to try to put that on me? I'm going to try it, though. <laughs> you want to try it? Yeah, yeah, I'll try it. When I get it, I'm walking out the gym. I ain't playing no more. Oh my goodness. I love doing that dunk right there. He got that two foot guy. Look, there it is right there. <laughs> I'm gonna do that one game. And then he go crazy when he dunk on somebody too. Oh, when he starts doing like yeah. this? Yeah. <laughs> like he riding a motorcycle or something. Some That's dunk. mad. Tim Duncan got dunked on so many times in the league. That was ridiculous. Like this. Look at this. Oh yeah, and it's, re and it's reversed. Like that's hard to spin the wrong way. That I like I never try to spin spinning the, the wrong way. That's so <laughs> Oh yeah. This right here. Now that's nasty. <laughs> that's taking good. it up by the rim, pulling that's it away, nasty. and bringing it back to the. You rim. know how much hang time you gotta have to do that. Man. Seven feet right there. Dang. 
he almost punched the dude. Look, boop. <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> if he would have punched it, he would have he would have been knocked out because he's swung hard. We might not win every game. I mean, we gonna lose. Everybody gonna lose, but. Yeah, we could win them all. I don't want to lose. <laughs> Dang, 51 points. Oh, he got off. But check this out. Um, Durant and Westbrook was in the 40s, though. Had a 40-plus game. Oh, see what I just did? I'm going to get that dunk. I, I swear to God, I'm going to get that dunk. What dunk? Look, this right here. Oh my, did he get that? Oh, yes, I guarantee you, hands down. I tried it before when I was in the gym with my cousin. I could never grab it. But I could always, like, bring it down and over. Like, it's so hard to bring it over and dunk like this, though. Yeah. I'm going to get it, though. Marcus, play 21. Right. 21. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm going to do. Oh. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Tay. Count it. Want another one? I got your left hand. Count it. Got your left hand, Chris. Easy. Come on. <laughs> Man, crazy. You don't even care about the game at all. <laughs> no, that's too far. You need to get back. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big ass kid. <laughs> Get this shower, get this snap your head trim, get it bleeding up for the game.
Two cut it. Brandon, okay. Brandon, two. Right here. Eighth grade, grade he's doing like that. Since eighth grade. Sick crazy. Yeah, I right, quit, man. Stop, bro. Stop, man. <laughs> Shit. Nah, he is still hitting three, man. That's like 13 in the room. Where you at? He going out of bounds. Damn! Wow! Oh. Give me one. Yeah, we we waiting for you. You got done for real? Here, yeah, get this. Man. If you dunk, I'll win me. If you, if I dunk, you win me. If you dunk, I'll win me. Oh God! I just got off a plane. Let's go, baby. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's do it. I got windmill. Woo! Oh! oh. <laughs> I gotta do it. Oh! Oh! Pop! Ah, I got you. Uh oh! I told you I was gonna do it. If you did it, I'm dropping in the first one. D, come on, Chris, come on, rise up, Chris, rise up. I'm dropping in the first I don't. Old oh, man like me put one down. Brian, they don't want this, man. Get up there. Oh, oh. Yeah. Hey, yeah, hurry up, hurry up, bro. I'm That's it. Oh, Chris Walker. These are Chris Walkers, bro. Straight up. The sea walk. I'm ducking the in the sea walk. walk. For real. That's how we do it. I'm ducking in the Chris Walker, like baby. It. I like it. Let's I like go. Like well, how we do this? Let's go, man. Oh, we got Chris putting the shoes back on. Chris gonna put on the shoes. Chris gonna put his shoes on. Yeah. Chris, come on, walk in there. Take off, come out here. Yes, sir. Chris, walk in that go fly dunk. Go fly dunk. Randy Green. I'm the new Superman. Randy yeah. Like, like John Wall said, easy. I like you. You got balls. <laughs> the most bounce in 2013. The most bounce in 2013. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was going to get kicked in the face. Y'all, Chris, welcome. Shout out to y'all, man. Love y'all. Me and the boys just threw down some nasty dunks. Hash mark, home team hoop. Damn. Yeah, I'm about to dunk it li like Adonis. I'm going to do a little Lisa Leslie dunk. No, Lisa Leslie, keep going. Tell me why you had to dunk on the markets like that. Oh man. <laughs> I get to him. He got me. He got me. I can't even see Jay get off. <laughs> you hear me? I can't even see Joe Barry get off. <laughs> we, we play at five. We play, we play y'all at five. Y'all gonna be ready for that? Yeah, that's gonna be fun, man. You gonna know them, Huh? No, you gonna know it on yourself. This is a nice campus, though. Literally, it's in for old people. I hear about a lot of old people on Twitter, man. If you don't have any followers, yeah, you're gonna be tweeting to nobody. 
I'll, I'll get him to follow you, though. I'll shout out to my KU fans. No, don't do that. Don't follow, do that. follow my pops. I'm telling you, you'll get at least yeah, get 500. They got me, Chris Walker, Brandon Green, Casey. Chris. That's man. Yeah, you gotta get served up, bro. I ain't like how you call me. I look at the like, bro, look at this, look at the more you said. I, 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 I tried to text you on, uh, and tell you that it was up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like, bro, go look on the internet, bro. <laughs> bro I seen it like, three, like two weeks ago, bro. So I looked on source who? Uh, the team I want to play against is Rashawn Fowler. Oh, bro, what is going on? But you know I had to put you out there, man. I was like, bro, why you gonna do it like that after you beat all like that, bro? After you lose, bro, you can't, you can't go like that, bro. You gotta, you gotta uh -huh. find the next opponent. I don't oh, think man. you gonna call out Solomon Pool. I was like, you calling out like, you know, Scott or something. He want to call me, bro. How you feel me? I'm in the cut, bro. You know I had to get you. I'm at DP chilling in the cut, bro. You trying to get me. Hey, hey how you do say that? And I get uh, eh? Eh. Yeah. <laughs> you put it to your leg. Yeah, bro. None of them got bounced since you left. You would have started. I couldn't do it, man. Number two. Brandon Green. Kid Ooh. going to Kansas. What, for real? Yeah. Right. I'm not saying you're old, I'm just saying you're getting there. You're, you're getting there. You're getting there quick. Oh, yeah. I was about to, say, I was about to say something about that. If you dunk, then I guess you can be, can be considered young. I dunk every year that since I've started dunking. Oh, man, you had to go shake it. you like Shaq from Boston. <laughs> In his old days, though. Yeah. Shaq got fat. Right. Boston <laughs> Shaq was just sloppy. Like, man, send that man back, back to his condo, yeah. yeah. Still, though, how do you guard a body that big? No. He goes himself. Strong. That's why he didn't yeah. last that long. He got tired? Yeah, And then he couldn't shoot free throws. throws. He ran the box of donuts and, and drunk a beer. Went to the gym. <laughs> he just killed oh Dwight Howard. He <laughs> just fouled him and sent him to the free throw line because he was going to finish. There was a time they were talking about trading Kobe oh, yeah. and leaving Shaq in L.A. That's how good Shaq was. He was a beast. Walker? He, boy, he'll oh eat my McDonald's God. out of business. He'll eat McDonald's midnight snack, late night snack, morning, afternoon, evening. Chris loves it. His favorites are number eight. And then you got to get him a side of his. got to get the milkshake. Hey, look. And then he's, he can't eat his burger now. Last weekend, Chris could not eat his burger. I got him two burgers, but I got him one thing of fries. Needed to go back to McDonald's to get him some more fries so he can put fries on, on his burger, burger to eat yeah. it. Oh, I smell real potato. I've never been here. I'm kind of excited now. <laughs> you jumping good in the gym, man. You were too. Yeah. Nobody care about an old man jumping. What's your name? Janine. Janine. Jeff. Jeff Green. Traveling on the road is a great experience. Getting to know the different parents and the coaching and seeing how they interact with all the kids and the things that they do to um, for their skills and their development and all that stuff. Have fun, Chris. I'll meet you at the top. Money on BG. Clown, dance, <laughs> sings, take pictures, poses. What's up, man? Are y'all serious, bro? You guys all sleeping? Yeah, yeah, but I'm checking. Fast break, I'm landed up. <laughs> These fools knocked out. Casey didn't get here yet, did he? I don't think so. We still haven't seen Coach yet either. What's up, man? How you doing, man? I'm good. What's up? Hey, Casey. Who else is here? Anybody not get shoes? That's the damn water ski. Really. 17. <laughs> I gotta get, I'll get you some of these. I don't, I, I don't know where they're at. And smooth, man. Are you seeing them? Yeah. Um, Wanna play today, but you can't? Yeah, unfortunately. Well, you need to avoid all light. <laughs> 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 no matter what, stay away from the sun. Got gotcha. you. Spirit all kicked the beat up. Bronze, that's why I put it in the blood and just chop it all up. And you're going to the end, man.
Okay, all right, that's cool. Respect. I know you, Roger. You low maintenance. You don't like a whole lot. Of, you don't like all that fancy stuff. Yeah. I don't think so, no. Close that door. Z, you playing a little today? Yeah. You gonna give it a go? All right, listen, um, this is like preseason for me, okay? We practice for like a half a weekend, and then we're here to, to execute today, to play harder than the next team, and to win. Winning's not the ultimate goal today. Now, do I expect to still win the game? Of course I expect to win this game next game, okay? Um, unfortunately, we got a couple that won't be with us, but we're talented from A to Z, so I think we can still go out and compete and win. Richie, tonight, other than Casey, you're playing the best point guard in the state, okay? A lot of people know him, and a lot of people don't know you yet. So you're to be in his ass from A to Z when you're in the game. As soon as he gets rid of the ball, he don't get it back, okay? His ass goes to the bathroom, you go with him. Chris Walker, you're much more athletic than the kid you're playing tonight, but he's big as hell. It's 3.33. So listen, hey, in 12, 12 minutes enough time for everybody to shit and get ready? I'm serious, because I'm not waiting on y'all for 10 minutes in the parking lot. JoJo's slow ass. All right? JoJo don't play shit. All right, listen. 12 minutes. 3.45, we're in the cars rolling down the road. Let's go. Let's go, y'all. Let's go. In the gold, in the gold. Let's go. Yeah, Roger, you play. Roger knows the plays. He practices. I told you. Go ask Matt. He has all that stuff. I have none. You go. Oh, I know Bob Mikey's. Wear whatever you have. As long as you're boxing out rebound. Yeah, yeah. My dog. Huh? The car? You going to the car now? No, no, no. Kari, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He gets to play, you don't. Hey, get y'all stuff, get ready. We're going to leave here in a minute. Ah, oh, that was good. Man. Hey, it's spot. You good to go now. Let's do this. Free game music. Rick Ross. Drake. Meek Mills. Wale. Pretty much it. Lil Wayne. Pretty much it. Get it in. This is the beginning of the season. Play harder, win every possession. All the loose balls, all the extra stuff is us, okay? We're going to mess up and execute and, and be in the wrong places, set wrong screens, have turnovers. All that's cool. But don't get beat by letting them out-hustle us. Let's work harder on these guys. I'm going to sit down and let, yeah, let Kobe go to work. Hey, I'm Jeff is that dude. Woody. What do you mean? Text me or call me no more. I, hey, I got a new phone, bro. I got a new phone, bro. You do what you do, man. You do what you do. All okay. you're going to do is this. Woody, this all you want to do, Woody. Look, Look this all you want to do. You want to fish. Hey, he called my daddy talking about you come get me. I'm drunk. Hey, bro, we had a dunk contest. I was strong or something. I was, but I know a lot. Hey, John, look, man. I was winning in that bit. No, it was a 360. Yeah, you might be up. You win me? You win me? I promise. You're like this. Oh, yeah. Ask him, hey, did I win me? Did I win me? He dunked it too. He dunked it too. You win the party. <laughs> I don't believe that, man. That's crazy. Chris going to be the one that's going to be the one Just don't let him get the ball. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Don't let him get it, bro. You're going to stop. No, just, just keep your hands shut. He was going to leave. What he's going to do is he's going to do his career. He's going to walk on his shoulder. And then when he go up, he's going to do like this. And then finish. <laughs> It was a nice atmosphere. All type of players there. All type of important people there. Each one teach one has something to prove. Like they're a good team. And Florida Rams is usually the known team in Florida. And with the highly talented players they have on the team. <laughs> We got like one minute to get loose, all right. and y'all are crimping out here, all right? Cameras now, get loose. Because right. they're going to bust y'all's asses in about two minutes. Now let's go. Let's go, yeah, let's go.
couldn't play this past weekend because my bird. We're going to the national tournament, the NHSI for high school. And our coach didn't want to risk us getting hurt before we go down there. We leave Wednesday. It was hard watching my team play and not being able to be out there with them. But, you know, I was on the sideline clapping, encouraging them, doing what I could to be a part of the team. So. Casey, man, come on, man. Get up and get right, man. Okay, well, you do. Okay, well, you do, you. I had to sit out for a great reason to get ready for a national tournament so nobody get in injuries or anything. But it was definitely tough. I wanted to play, but just couldn't. I know which one was more important. Hey, look at the car ahead, Chris. Hey, Chris, hey, Chris. I'm Dakari Johnson, and I'm at the class of 2014, uh, power forward and center. Each one, teach one. I know uh, our team is real deep, so that's very good, you know. So if we need subs or anything, but we're real deep and real good. We have good guards and Joel Berry and then good wings, so I think we're real deep. Nobody in this gym wants y'all to win. You know that, right? You know, nobody in this gym wants you guys to win. Nobody came to see the four around win. So the season begins right here, guys. Statement game. Go, Ryan. Let's go, boy. Y'all match up. Talk, Chris. Match it up. Rich, get in. the top Florida AAU teams, you know, we just competed and it was real good competition all over the floor. Great players are resilient, and we can you, fight. Way to fight, way to rebound, way to play. Oh, Let's go get rebounds. Every right. loose ball, we lost the loose ball battle. Get after it, guys. We got one more half. Let's capture these guys. Defense on three. Defense on three. One, two, three. Defense. Defense. Let's go. to have a ball handler or, or a leader out there, a vocal leader. Everybody was just like out of sync kind of. As you know, Casey and Chris Davenport didn't play, but I think it would have been a big difference if they played, but they didn't. So each one, each one got the win. We don't need to be beating each other up or beating ourselves up about that game. No. You guys were handcuffed by lack of practice time. We were handcuffed by not having a full roster. Um, you know, things are going to happen that we don't have any control out of. What we do like and what we saw is everybody played hard. We didn't quit. We're out of control because we weren't a team because we didn't have the practice time. Mm -hmm. We were out of control because um, we're just at handicap today right. so as we go through the summer and we're playing in front of hundreds of college coaches and everything's on the line how are we going to handle how's our composure going to be how are we going to handle ourselves what i love today was i see no negative body language yeah. nobody walking down the floor frustrated and nobody screaming at each other because you didn't do what you were supposed to do because i didn't do what i was supposed to do none of that bull right. that to me says we have a great team now is it time to get into the gym tomorrow in the gym 
the next time, the next two weekends we practice and really get things fine-tuned because after that, guys, it's all playing. No more practice time. No more BS. Now, thankfully, everybody's high school season will be over the next time we practice. Practice is going to ramp up to another gear you haven't seen yet, and I couldn't do that until now. By the time we go to play in front of college coaches, we'll be a well-oiled machine. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Do it one more time. Show me how to do it. You know how to do it. What you do? That's your bitch. He said it was juicy. I'm leaving, man. I don't sleep with shower caps. I don't sleep with shower caps. He sleeps with shower caps. Trust me, I've seen it. He sleeps with shower cap on? They took, it, they took it at the airport, remember? They took it at the airport? Remember he had that big old bottle? <laughs> the Jerry Carroll juice. <laughs> I'm natural, man. It's natural. It don't look well. It looks natural today. <laughs> when you get my age, you eat one of those, you gain a pound. If you eat two, you gain two pounds. That just means like ten, huh? Me about ten. Ten of those? You gain weight. Roger got on my t-shirt. Sneakers ain't gonna help you gain weight. You're gonna be out of shape. I'm all right. I'm good. Show y'all a little practice to do. We'll be all right. Got a lot of shit. Be good enough. Let's stack the stomach. Throw it up. Time to go to work tomorrow. Yeah. Bringing that to the room, y'all. Yeah, I want to go there. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, I'm gonna go watch a game or something. <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey. We didn't want to go a full practice because they wouldn't have been able to scrimmage and get up and down. So we wanted to spend some time just teaching. I thought it was a game or my dog JoJo hit it. Yeah, if you don't want my dog Jojo to bang out, that's how you feel. Jojo, show me Jojo. Hey, that's all I wanted. Jojo? Hey, you you know how to do the ass kick? Yeah. I'm gonna put you in there first and just you watch you, okay? Alright. Y'all to, to be like, yeah. Let me know when you're done. He's not gonna bang that. He, he is a low hopper. He is a low hopper. Give me a sip. Like, take a long person in my why do you be doing that? You don't know, man, you can flip doing that. Why do you take off off one and hang on the rim with two? Hey, man, you know you can flip like, hey, Chris, you don't ever be scared of flipping, bro? Take it off and hang in with two? Me, I'll never do it. He shot you the F bomb with the quickness, though. Yeah, I don't be playing it, bro. hard. Bro. We're gonna be playing hard. This is not a game. Bro. I understand, but you like, don't be focused. I'm just saying, like, like, like the overall focus level got to be better, bro. Y'all are all Division One athletes. We got a law of play for Demarcus and Brandon and the rest of you guys that can jump over the rim like this. I think practice was pretty good. We was all clicking. I don't have bounce, Chris. I have no bounce. None. Zero. Just sleep. So good. He gonna blow some. <laughs> he gonna blow in, his, blow in his face here. Snap. Roger's working out in sweatpants like he in the league. I think it's a game. My dog. My dog. Kobe. 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 
the hell? Experience what we experienced yesterday. That was painful for me. <laughs> all right, but I thought we all handled it decent. Let's put it behind us and forget about that. Hey, family on three, guys. Family. Nice to my family. One, two, three. Family. Team full of great players and great people. It's like a family. This is Bonifé, a small, small, small city. I guess you can't say this is the hood, though. I don't know. It's the country. The country. Oh. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> ah! Let's go, baby. That's how we do it for real, man. That's how we do it for real, though. Yeah, this money, boy. This money. Oh, yeah, back him down. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh! shoot. And that's a wrap. Joy. <laughs> oh my God. I think I made top 10 somewhere. I stayed in Germany for like a month because my mom was in um, the army. I was born in Seoul, Korea. Yeah, I was born overseas. Nobody knows that. I was born in Seoul, Korea. Um, I stayed in Kentucky before too for like two months. Where um, my mom and her boyfriend moved to Bonifé. I've been staying here ever since I was like four to now. Basically, I've been here my whole life. This is where I stay, of course. A little room for the big kid. This is where I sleep. A little bed. This is all the shoes. I got board and dad, some under the bed, my outfits. Oh, God. Every college in the country. A lot of letters. That's not even all of them. <laughs> a lot. About 10 or 11 a day. But they come every day. We have nowhere else to put them. <laughs> so I've been starting to um, put them up over, overhead of my bed. I don't know where he wants to go. Hope he choose the right place that makes him feel at home and that he's comfortable with. Somewhere in there is a UK one. It's my favorite one somewhere in there. I mean, really, to me, the letters I get really isn't really, it's not a big deal to me, really. I mean, people get happy because they get college letters, but I'm trying to get a scholarship. My beautiful sister, Nico Campbell, you know what I'm saying? My lovely mom, Janine Campbell. I'm gonna send my dog Shakir, my dog Jordan. My other dog Jordan right here, Kirblet. What's it do for fun, y'all guys? Y'all help me out right here? Um, going to McDonald's? Going to McDonald's, eat our food, chill, talk, crack around. We got Panama City close to us, so we go to Panama City. Just chilling in Panama on the beach. Down in Bonifay, you know, Panama at the beach, spring break. Hello? Y'all doing? What about um, the AAU season coming up? Who are you going to be playing with, and, and what events are you going to be at, um, if any? Um, for the Florida rounds, and we got a tournament. April the 20th. Your, uh, your recruitment was then uh, recruiting you 
Well, I got offers from just about almost every college in the country besides um, Kentucky, really. And I'm still working on getting that one, probably getting it April 20th or during the Vegas tournament. But uh, I know my top five is Florida, Kentucky, Kansas, Ohio State, and Baylor, and Syracuse. The top six. Coach Lane, I've been recruiting me. He's telling me how I can fit in their program and be kind of like Anthony Davis and um, block a lot of shots, run the court, rebound, and score when I need to. And I can get there. All right, thanks, man. Hey, bro. Nice yep. Oh, Syracuse, Nation of Orange, whatever. This is where we go fishing at. We go for these turtles, man. We gotta go for these turtles right here, man. <laughs> Doing the red right there too. I go to church at. Whenever I'm home on Sundays, a little small, little public church. Hey man, park at seven o'clock, man. Seven o'clock. How you doing? Lord. I ain't hugging the waist no more. Uh, this is my um, auntie. This is my auntie parking right here. So I used to stay. Oh, right. I'll be talking, but they say my name is Connie. Auntie Parker. <laughs> but I'm going to be punky. <laughs> God, man. Good. That's how are you going to get? I don't know. Uh, what case you on your lips? I don't mean this girl. I'm playing. It's a tattoo I got in Vegas last year. I want to do something crazy. Did you enjoy it out there? Yes, ma'am. I'm going again on the 20th. Of this month? Yes, ma'am. For a basketball tournament. Uh oh. I get tear drops, though. Yeah, that's. Now that's that's the game sign, them teardrops. I wish you would get a teardrop up under your eye. I'll knock no, it out. <laughs> I think I'll get one. I'll knock it out. I'll probably, walk, I'll probably walk to the store. Okay. okay. All right, nice to see you. You bet. See you too. All mm. right. Yeah, this is where I used to stay, though. Right here. I used to play in the field all the time. I was nine or something like that. I used to play all the time right there. Get it in. Everybody really just know everybody. Everybody at school just know where everybody is. It's a good thing too. No yes, right, guns, shooting, right. nothing like that. You have to worry about none of that. Somewhere else, like let's see, Chicago, somewhere you can't walk in the streets like this. But Bonifay, you have to worry about nothing like that. Let's actually come to the park, man. Oh, man. We need some people, bro. We need to just we need to get a lot of people. Hey, get on him, y'all. This is Jordan McAllister, our point guard. He's trying to he's trying to steal some gum, man. The police is gonna watch it, Jordan. <laughs> this is where we ball at. We can't get no gym. At the little park. Break down the rounds. <laughs> Bro, I swear I'll give me a mixture out here. I will dunk on everybody on these goals. See that rim down there? That's broke because of me. This is where I all began. I actually got my first dunk out here and I was in fifth grade. On this goal, one hand. Rucker Park, man. This is Rucker Park, everybody. Oh, look at this round. Two hand tomahawk. And broke the round. With all that forest, I applied it. <laughs> they got the girl, you know what I'm saying? They get they getting the exercise in right now. Yeah. LeBron James, man. Oh yeah, I'm out of there. <laughs> I had to do it for you, man. The ball got thirty three already. <laughs> got to see him in person. Oh yeah, a couple times. I'm real. How fast Chris Paul is in person. Fast? Fast than John Wall? I think John Wall's faster, but Chris Paul is just so solid. Like he he just knows how to play. My Derrick Rose. He rose. He's crazy. He's definitely faster than yeah, anybody. Westbrook. I know you saw him too. Westbrook's nasty. No, he looking. <laughs> this is Chris Walker, guys. Everybody know LeBron the King. You know what I'm saying? He's the best player in the league right now. In my opinion, I think he's the best person ever to play basketball, really. I know Michael Jordan good also. He real good also, but. <laughs> I think LeBron James is just the best player ever.
This is me. I tweeted my favorite player, LeBron James, and um, asking him for help. I was just gonna see if he like reply back to me, and um, he did, and it blew up on ESPN and blew up all over the internet. And my man LeBron James is cool, and I'm gonna be going to his skills academy. I'm gonna get his no homo. I'm gonna get his number, and everything like that. We're gonna stick um, in touch. So it's real cool. Talk to LeBron James, today, bro. Ducking, ducking that bit hard. Probably had like 30 points that game. I was playing around one day. I was like, man, I'm finna try something. So I tweeted him saying, man, where should I go to college at? I guess LeBron read it. And he tweeted back something and it really got big. It was on ESPN. I got interviewed by a couple people from ESPN. It was all over the internet. I think it was real big when uh, LeBron tweeted back, telling me like out of Ohio State in Kentucky and we'll make the decision soon. Swag, Rick and the Swag. Well, I'll show you a picture. Y'all. That picture right there. What's that from? Back um, Brady, Jim Brady. Me, Adam, Julius, Isaac. Got his name, Casey, Troy, and my friend. For me being in this little city, having this many offices, man, it means a lot. Because I don't know nobody who ever been to Bonifé ever had this many offers, ever be ranked this high or anything like that. I ain't trying to be cocky, I'm just, I'm just saying. There's really nothing really here to do. Besides play ball, really. I say that Bonifay is like a very small place, but I'm trying to put on the map, you know? I'm trying to do some big things. The shows? Mm-hmm. Yup. Nope. Oh, Hell not anymore. Not <laughs> <laughs> that's that's taping. We are about to do what I love to do. Go to the park, get a duck on a few people for the camera. Saying it's gonna be cool, man. Gonna kill at this park. Rucker Park, that is. Wow, what's real good? I'm only 13. I'm 14. Yeah. I'm only 13. Yeah. I'm 12. I got you. First out of the gate, man. I'm in the case. Baby Katie, baby. Uh, boy, Cody, we know Cody. He's not working. No. They said that all they talked about is Chris Walker. Man, he oh, yeah. told me that he was on the news because of the track team. Good. I just can't looking good. But I'm playing, so you already know what's up. Got here at the park about the ball. Come out here almost every day, get better, go to the gym every afternoon. When the coach opened the gym, I mean, we'll play. Other than that, we come out here and play with everybody else. I mean, I played on a team with him. He had a fast break. And like, it was like one of his first dunks using like, Fifth grade, it was it was funny, and then like, then he started playing AU, and then got his name out there, and now look at him, he don't even hesitate, not for anybody. Serious, man. Yeah, get on, get on, get on. We got a, we got a Monday here trying to support here. Mom. If I missed a ball game, one of his high school ball games, or if I was late, you know, he always knew exactly what time I walked into the game, or if I was late, Mama, you need to make sure you get there on time. I said, well, I thought I was. He said, no, you wasn't there. I seen what time you got there. He would tell me exactly what time it was on the board. I said, well, you don't supposed to be watching me come in. You're supposed to know what's out, what you're supposed to be out there doing on the court. So after that, I started making sure I got there on time or being with whatever he was doing in his life with basketball. I made sure I was there. Yeah, Tay. Only on camera. First dunk was like when he was in the um, fifth or sixth grade. So from there, he just really bloomed. He just, 
he wanted to do more each time to see how much he has grown from middle school to now. He has really blossomed. <laughs> Just a good feeling to see someone that you love is doing what they really want to do. It's on, baby. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? 10 years from now, 27. I can see myself playing for Miami Heat. <laughs> yeah, probably. I can see myself in the NBA in 10 years, probably. I can't really, I can see that for Chris Walker. Also a name, that's what I plan. I got a lot of good friends around here. They are supportive of me and what I'm trying to do. Going down. Yeah, burning old house. Yeah. We're finally playing the gym, which means I can do what I want to do. And it was still so big, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I have clear particular. Oh, yeah, I'm looking rough right now. I'm just hooping, though, so it don't really matter. So, do you hoop here a lot? I hoop here a lot, yeah. It's the first time in like, like two weeks, though. Get it? Going to Vegas, it's going to be great. Because I already have a lot of coaches around me right now telling me they're going to watch me. Coach Orlando from Kentucky said, him and Coach Calipari come to watch me. I'm in Vegas, and I think it's very important for me because I'm trying to become a McDonald's All-American and Jordan All-American, too. So I'm just trying to go out here and have a great tournament. And um, not really just, I'm not going to party nothing like that. I'm just going to be focused. It's going to be a benefit for me. Yeah. Born in Korea, my mom got stationed in Germany, stayed in Germany. I moved to Kentucky with my mom and her boyfriend. And I moved to Bonifay, I was on what, what, I'm like three years old, moved to Bonifay, stayed with my grandma. She passed away three years ago, I got her name tatted on me. She meant the world to me. And when she, when she like died, I just didn't take it. Being 13 and 14 where you're, the people who took care of you your whole life just dies, it's, it's too hard, man. And all I said in my head was, man, I'm gonna make it for her. I'm gonna do this for her. So that's what I be thinking about all the time when I'm playing ball is, man, I got this for my grandma, man. I just gotta make it and stuff like that. And then my mama, she's like, I call her mama, Ms. Janine. She always been around and she just really, she took me in, man, and took care of me. And it's a blessing. He grew up with his grandmother. Um, I'm not actually, ah, uh, his real mom. His real mom is Fatim. Her name is Fatim Watson and she's in the military. He um, grew up with his grandmama. Her name was Miss Inez Davis and he had an uncle named Clyde Davis. His grandmother was his mother, his um, anchor, his everything. He, that, was, that was her baby. Um, and it was just like, that was a time when he just kind of shut off a little bit. He started knowing that what she would want him to keep doing to fulfill his dream. He just blossomed from there really, because his grandmama was his backbone. She truly loved him. It was three of the boys that she raised. It was his older brother, Ansel. He had a middle brother named Alex, and it was him. And they were real close. I loved him, and I love him now. And I just I wanted to um, step in where they asked me, his uncle asked me to make sure they were okay. He's a joy. I really love him. I love him a lot, and he knows I love him. And we have a um, bond that he can talk to me about anything, and it's always been that way. I am probably the closest thing that Chris ever really had to love. Ask God and just help me, help me stay focused, help me stay grounded, help me get there. Oh. <laughs> For me to make it, I think I gotta stay focused, stay in the books, stay humble.
stay grounded and don't get sidetracked. Take the ACT this morning, man. Seven o'clock on a Saturday morning. I told you it was there. I shouldn't even tell you. About as ready as it's gonna get, man, I'm telling you. Shit, we'll get a 20. There really ain't no point. Sort of. I might get 100. Can you get 100 on the ACT? Shut up. I told you, man. Don't we good? Yeah. <laughs> First practice got up early in the morning. You know how that goes, kind of sluggish at the beginning. Nationals was fun. I wanted to win it all. I didn't really care about anything else. Just wanted to win, but we came on short. But we got a chance to go back next year. Hopefully we'll win it next year. First time playing on ESPN. Fortunate enough to play on ESPN three times in a row. Yo, low key, my high school team could be done. Huh? <laughs> my relationship with Casey, has been going on for a few months now. Uh, we talk on the regular now, text, tweet, whatever. <laughs> you catch it on film? Yeah. Why Brandon Green didn't play the AAU? Look, hey, hey, you're gonna camp in the right for the last shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go through your stretches real quick for five minutes, Casey. Okay? So we don't need to pull. That's gonna be a long day. We're getting after today. All right, see? We played those two games. Wasn't good, right? So who wants to play like that in front of hundreds of college coaches? Okay, no problem. Nobody, right? So today's gonna be a long day, and this is just the beginning of it. So I want you to stretch real good, and I want you to get loose with your, your two line layups. My relationship with other players is picking up too. Like just being around them, getting to know who they are, um, more comfortable around them, and things like that. So relationship so far for this being my first summer playing with them has been great. The recruiting process was hectic. I just saw a whole bunch of phone calls, interviews, and I really wanted to get it over with. I mean, it was fun when it first started and I was loving it. And after a while, it just kind of got old because I didn't want to like ignore the coach's calls. So most of the time I would pick them up and you know, I just felt like the reason why I chose Kansas was that I was just so comfortable with everything there. I had a great relationship with Coach Self, and he believed in me, and I believed in him, and that was my dad's, like, school, and it still is. Like, he, he loves Kansas and the way they play, and I visited, and just everything was perfect about it for me. I, I felt like I was at home when I visited, and that's pretty much why. It's Kansas. You know, everybody knows about Kansas. And it's funny because... I visited Louisville, and that's kind of where I wanted to go. And then I visited Florida, and that's kind of where I wanted to go. And then I visited Yukon, and that was definitely where I wanted to go. Like, it was set in stone, like, I was going to Yukon. Then I visited Kansas, and it made me second-guess everything. Like, every, like, the last four visits that I took, every visit was a step up. Like, it just got better and better and better. And till Kansas, and I was like, I just can't get any better than this. Like, they were all brothers. Nobody argued. Everybody liked each other. And they were always together. Wherever they went, they were together. And that's what I really liked. That's also one of the reasons why I chose Kansas. There you go, DeMarcus. That's what I want to pick again. One of those gets you to where you want to go. Good job, boy. Let's go. Good job, good job, good job. Jump that ball in the 
We don't care about good passes. We just care about a pass. Casey needs to be in a fast game. He's got to have some freedom. He'd always had his name out there. He's been one of the top players in the country for a long time. But when we won that tournament in Indianapolis last year, he went to another level. And, um, I mean, he had offers from basically almost anybody in the country. Very humble, class clown, likes to joke around a lot. Uh, just has a good time with life. Uh, loves basketball, works very hard, you know, pursuing his dream. And he just, he, he takes care of his business. Pretty proud of him. He's, he's just a normal kid. I can't even make a stupid on camera. <laughs> 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 When a kid like Casey turns out to be as good as he is at something, and maybe he has a chance to um, go to the highest level one day, there's all the speculation that you took him in because he was a great basketball player, he was a talented kid. But the truth of the matter was, is he didn't know what a damn basketball was when we kind of walked into each other's lives. My son, um, Kyle Simmons, him, uh, Casey Hill, and another young man by the name of Terrace Porter all played uh, flag football together when they were five and six years old. And we showed up to practice the first day. There was no coach. I ended up coaching the team. So that's kind of how everybody got started together. So the boys played uh, flag football for, for two years and then tackle football for another three or four together. And, you know, I coached them. So basically, Casey has been at the house about every weekend since he was about six years old. When he turned to be about eight or nine, you know, some circumstances hit somewhere and he just had to come to stay with us for a while. And basically, he's been there ever since. So he's a, he's a permanent fixture of the house. And my son, you know, they grew up playing a lot of basketball together. They, they both went to Mount Dora Bible in Mount Dora. And Casey played varsity as a sixth grader. Kyle was an eighth grader. And they both started and, and broke about every record in Mount Dora Bible, basically before Casey hit high school. So they've just, there's a lot of history. It's been fun watching them grow up. And I know everybody sees him as the basketball phenom. We just see him as... Casey, so it's different. We just have a great relationship that has nothing to do with basketball. So basketball for Casey and I is probably the only time we ever argue because, you know, he's he's pretty strong-minded and it's what he loves to do. He's passionate about it. And, and as a coach, you know, you got to be the guy that's kind of dictating what the team's doing because you got everybody you're considering and thinking about. So, but it's been good. It, it's good for us. It's a nice balance. He's come a long ways. He's, he's, he has progressively gotten better every year. He had a lot of weaknesses in his game when he was young, but he's just always been so talented that um, he was effective even as a sixth grader. He was probably dropping double-doubles, you know. He's just gotten better. He's always worked at his flaws. His goals and dreams are playing at the highest level. When you're a point guard, you have to be surrounded by great players and, and to be able to get out there and play the highest level of competition and really learn to be the best. Showtime, showtime, showtime. Get out your corn and right to go. It's not your fault, it's not anybody's fault. We haven't had the whole group here yet. And we still don't. But I don't give a shit anymore because come next weekend, there's, there's 300 college coaches coming to watch you guys play and we can't look like this. Nope. So when we come back this afternoon, I don't give a if you're tired, if you get cramps, or if your girlfriend broke up with you, you better be ready to go. You got to get your mind right. And we're not going to start the season off next weekend on a bad note. No. I'm not letting it happen. First practice of the day, pretty early. A little tired. We sat out last night playing 2K, but it's fine. All we need to do is just get all of our pieces together. Chris, get all them guys in. We'll be fine. We haven't had our whole team together for one practice yet. So we finally got most of the Montverde guys here. We were still missing our seven footer and we were missing Chris Walker. So um, we made some strides with chemistry though, as far as Casey Hill learning how to play with Brandon and, and DeMarcus and a few of the new guys on the team. And uh, it, I, I felt they bonded well together today, but we still got a long way to go. Man, how can you want to give a shout out to your hood, man? <laughs> Secret. You gotta tell him where you live. <laughs> no vodka, straight hitters, you know. <laughs>
still weren't too pleased with the practice because I'm what, what we could be and all the potential that we have as a team and second practice I think after we had individual meetings with the coaches second practice we came out knowing what we needed to do picked up the intensity played a little harder and also had more fun with it in on the bang in on the bang hey. all right bring it right here If you don't play D, Roger got something for you. Right, let's ride. Get up. Oh. That's how we start. Hold up. Hold up. You do realize as a team, you're 0-2. You haven't won shit yet. And you're still going through the motions. We're gonna go 3,000 miles to do this. Come on, y'all, let's go. Keep busting ass. You got to clear him out. Clear him out. This isn't the fucking NBA. What this is, is whoever wants it the most is going to win it. 
Every turnover you, you have in transition takes two points off your score. I'm going backwards. Okay? Every turnover in transition takes two points off your score. But we're going to give you twos and threes for your points. Basketball is not won by talent, okay? This isn't the NBA. What this is, is whoever wants it the most is going to win it, okay? That's how, that's how it's played. Effort and hustle is going to beat talent 90% of the time. I'm overall pleased with everybody on the roster. I could go down one by one, but, I mean, we're solid 10 deep, and not too many people can say that. I would say our top eight guys are mid-major plus, and, and the last two, they're going to go to college for free. So it should be a fun season. It's just time to mix it up now, get better. So far, it's, it's turning out to be everything I expected. I mean, you know, the leadership at the top, they're doing everything they said they're going to do. It's a top-notch Adidas program, some wonderful kids, you know, involved in the program. So, I mean, we couldn't be happier going out to Vegas first. Never been to Vegas. You know, I know it's Vegas and it's basketball, you know, and it's supposed to be fun. But, you know, oftentimes talk to B about the business of basketball. Yes, it's Las Vegas, but it's a business trip. There will be a lot of eyeballs on, you know, hey, it's for one, it's the Florida Rams. For two, you know, they've got three guys ranked in the top 20. You know, how do they play together? That was our first game in Vegas. And there were 300 college coaches sitting there watching that bullshit that we just did. Let's turn it up right now, guys. I'm talking about you. Oh, me? I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about me. I'm talking about been here before. Veteran. Starting out there for sprint to the corner for the three. Jumbo, we're down two. We're down two. As soon as they realize that they got to want it more than the next team and they got to get after it every possession, that, that's when we'll find something special this summer. We have to demonstrate that we can play as a team and that we can win basketball games. If we do that, you know, Vegas is going to be a fun and exciting trip. Well, you got to love, you know, Casey Hill. I mean, I really think that that's the, the best point guard in the 2013 class. I mean, that's just a heady, you know, he's just a, a super point guard. Sees the floor well. His timing sees three, four moves ahead. Brandon's M.O. is, you know, he'll shoot it from anywhere. He's going to make it from anywhere. So let's just double him. Well, you know, he's got a point guard. He's a pretty efficient shooter as well. Brilliant passer. Speedy. Can get to the hole and break down defenses and kick it out to a guy like him. But then Brandon's a guy that can, you know, get in the lane, kick out to Casey. So, you know, that guard combination is going to be really tough for a lot of teams to deal with. I think we're going to Vegas without a couple post players, a couple of the Montverde kids. So we're going to be real guard heavy and, and thin in the front court. So we got to work on exploiting our guards and, and getting them out and spreading the floor. I see you. The Vegas tournament coming up. I haven't been this early before, so I don't know what it's going to be like, like the weather wise. So I just want to get out there and experience what it is during April instead of in the summer. We've had Chris Walker here with no Casey. Now we get Casey, we got no Chris Walker. The Montverde kids played extremely late in their season. They had a lot of success. So it's just been a little frustrating, but I think we're going to be one of the most talented teams in the country. So now it's a matter to see if just talent's going to over prevail on kids that have been playing for six weeks, you know. They, they've got their sets down, so we'll see. You know what? Honestly, guys, y'all have fun. The last 30 minutes, y'all had fun. The last three weeks, you haven't. You haven't had really fun. You like each other, but you haven't had fun playing basketball. You finally had fun the last 30 minutes. 
both teams. Each other. Yep. Because we were in each other's shit, we all wanted to win. And, and great teammates. We got a good group of guys that can accomplish a lot of good stuff. Lord, yeah. Roger, good job today. The fucking but guy? it's going to take it. It's going to take getting better every day and keep working hard. And just bring in the lunchbox, man. Next time we see each other, you're going to be wearing a lot of new stuff. New uniforms, new shoes. You're gonna look like a million bucks. So let's play like a million bucks. One, two, three. Y'all was selling out. Y'all was selling out. Y'all was selling out on the sideline. He don't want to go to the hotel and play because he's losing right now. Who? You quit. Now why both y'all flexing like that? Now you better quit. Now he quit. We ain't 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 quit. We Oh, that's yeah, my team, man. You know I was texting you. Chase, what happened to you last night? I beat you at the bus with OKC. <laughs> I beat you at the bus with OKC. He do. No, you don't want to yes, play him. What the all y'all ass? Yeah, you really don't want to play him. It's OV. I'm telling you, bro. You're not going to win, bro. Yeah, I hit two units. I might hit three. I hit three. See? See? I gave you the plate, I got to hit one more. If you ain't on my team, nigga, I'd be hitting zero. See, I gave you the play too. I said go B, he was hot. Then you said come back again. I was like, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Who's the better shooter? It all depends, man. Depends on what? Top I mean, ball game. Top ball game. Top we'll ball call game. it that. We in the game, we lethal. How about that? Yeah, put it that way. My man's automatic, though. I'm just saying. I'm saying we finna go to Dave Bus, waste our money and play video games. <laughs> but we can, go, we can go to the hotel and get 2K all night. <laughs> You about to get some. Hey. Swag daddy. Huh? Swag daddy. You know, we have a very competitive circuit. Adidas has three really good tournaments now. Uh, they're going to be tough, and the kids that are going to be at those tournaments are all going to be some of the best players in the country. The next tournament will be the uh, Adidas tournament in Las Vegas, April 20th to the 22nd, and that'll be a pretty big event. Adidas has never had an April tournament, uh, so with the live period coming back in April, uh, they decided to have one of their brand tournaments in the spring, so all the main Adidas teams will be there, and pretty sure the championship game is going to be televised live. It's going to be a, a big event. Where we headed, Chris? Las Vegas, man. Getting this work. Five hours. No, it's all worth it, though. I'm going to sleep the whole time, so it really don't make me no different. Most of us have done this before, so we'll be ready. Y'all yeah, can be fooled with this shirt on, man. <laughs> man, we in heaven. <laughs> no, we at the airport right now. Oh, we ain't on this, we ain't on this flight to Vegas, man. About to go to Vegas and do work. And we about to board. Let's go. This one was definitely a business trip because we're here for a short amount of time. We're here for like two days or three days. And we know that the Vegas atmosphere is crazy. You can get lost and lose your focus so quick just because of the environment. I'm filming this time, Casey. I'm goddamn home team hoops. <laughs> Scotty Bynum. Casey, Casey, you ain't got it, Ain't shit to eat. I came to like five dollars a piece. I'm from Orlando. I ain't done. How, how much is a bottle of water? I can have four dollars. <laughs> I ain't with that, man. Life of the Marcus Cook. Life of the Honda <laughs> Marcus. Well, he already committed, so. I did not commit. You did. At all. We just didn't release the footage. <laughs> Deserve to do that. This is probably the most talented team in the country. 
I haven't seen them all, but I know we've got so much talent here, it's ridiculous. The worst thing to have is, is the, the, the best talent and never win, okay? We're not doing that this year. I'm just telling you right now. If your ass ain't getting it done, somebody else in this room is going to be getting it done. There's going to be three or 400 college coaches watching you every game, okay? So when we hit the floor, we better be winning every possession. We better get all the loose balls, and we better be talking like we just came out of practice yesterday. We just got off a long day of traveling and flights. No excuses. Everybody's got a reputation. Everybody's got expectations. And for most of you guys, you're looking for college scholarships, something you deserve. You got to earn it. They got a 6'10 kid that doesn't like to play on both ends of the court. He does not like to run, okay, Chris? And as he steps up to help with Casey as he goes to the rim, it's got to be alley-oop city all night, okay? But you got to square up and you got to go get it. Dallas and Brennan, you find a corner, okay? And when Casey drives, if your man helps, you better be shot ready, okay? If we don't have 10 dunks tonight, we weren't ready to play. You never get a second chance to make a first impression. And everybody in here has got a lot riding on this summer. And guys, at the end of this summer, you get no more AAU. It's kind of a sad thing, but you'll remember these memories for the rest of your life. If you're yeah. 10 minutes, be downstairs at the front of the building. We're going to have the vans pulled up, ready to go. Jersey. Hey, Griffin. But with no balance. And get a dub. Get a dub. Bro, tell me. That's all we do. Man, you curse around me? I didn't know damn was a curse word. And then you gonna say it again. No, I'm saying I didn't know it was. <laughs> you got a belt? Oh, bust your ass. Somebody protect me, man. You gonna get your ass busted, son. <laughs> Yes, you too. You curse when I'm not around. Yes, sir, Big Daddy. <laughs> Brandon, growing up, Brandon said, damn, twice, with Daddy on the elevator. Huh? Bro, he need to, he need to learn his name. Hey, football, what was that, football? It's Detroit, nah. huh? It's the cross screen, right? Detroit? Yeah. Man, I don't know. All right, um, Memphis. What's Memphis game? What I do? Memphis is the, um, the, the four out. You got no girls. Oh, I don't? I got a girl. <laughs> I got a girl from Japan. Uh, the man. I told uh, uh, O'Neal, y'all can take my car. We in Vegas, about to go to this basketball game. Even though it's late in my hometown. There's only 722 over here. Um, it'll be good. I'm just ready to play, man. Shout out to home team hoops, go to Rams. Let's do this, man. We're used to coming to Vegas, you know, in July when we have like five days. You know, we play one game a day. Uh, it's a lot different coming across country for 48 hours, essentially. Six games in two days. The live period is when the college coaches are allowed to come watch the kids when they're not at their high schools. For a while, it was just July when the college coaches were allowed to see us play. Now they've given us April back, so we have two weekends in April where the college coaches come watch the kids with their travel teams. Any other time, they have to go to the high school. It's different. You know, we were used to July, so we used to get started, you know, a lot later. So now we're having to get ready earlier and be prepared to play. Hey, we play in three minutes. Let's go. The circuit's always going to be tough because I think most of the top players have moved over to Adidas or well, for my class, I think. And it's going to be tough once we start playing some of these other teams. Of course, coming out to Vegas is hard, you know, with all the scenery and stuff like that. But coaches talked to us and the players talked amongst ourselves and said, you know, this is a business trip. We need to come here and take care of business. Fell in love with Puerto Rico. J-Lo. We got some of the players, bro. I'm the king. That's the way they see me. I'm good. I got you. It's real simple, though. I'm... We, with him, bro, we don't run this. He not gonna run none of this. Yeah, was, nah, he ain't gonna run it till Jeff make it. Till Jeff say, hey, run it. Shit, they gonna call high ball screen the That's whole game. Hand, bro. That's a run up. Yeah, sprint. When he get it, we out the gate. I'm telling you though, bro, I ain't banging out tonight. If I get on the break, I'm laying it up. B, B, you about that bang out life tonight or nah? Nah. I've been about that bang out like yeah, on a fast break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Low hopper. Hey, you. Yeah. 
hood. Hood like he need to be playing football. Hey, hood need to get tatted. Man, what the heck? Man, Just like we have the best collection of kids from Florida, there's powerful teams from California that have the best kids from out there. Uh, Boston area, Atlanta area, Dallas. You know, pretty much every uh, state or major metropolitan area has a team. A club, he played for New Jersey players. Yeah, they do. Their shoes ugly. Yeah, the shoes, I don't like the shoes. The shoes ugly. Yeah, you shoes. ugly. Yeah, he ugly. You ugly for real, though. You bent ugly. We stack up pretty well against other teams in the country. Not many teams in the country, I think, can match our athleticism and length. To me personally, I think we're one of the best teams in the country. When you have so much talent, you should win every game. It's the willpower and, and the ability to go out there and play hard every day, every possession, when there's three games a day. And you are you got the mark on your back. You know, everybody expects us to beat them, so we're supposed to win. Go, Rich. We don't get a second chance to make a first impression. Let's bust these fuckers' ass. You got me? Hey, hey, defense, team defense. Just go defense on three. One, two, three. Let's go. Play hard, play smart, play together. First play of the game, Chris Walker got a dunk on one of the kids. That's like horrible. I would never wish that on anybody. Good finish, boy. Chris. Hey, it's a good shot. Don't worry about it, man. Okay. Always walk off with your head up, okay? Because as coaches, they're watching your game, but more importantly, they're watching your body language. So even if you miss a shot, give a f keep your head up and look like you're that confidence, most cockiest mother in the world, all right? We started rebounding and running and doing what we like to do, getting highlights. I think you and Chris talked on the same person. Yeah, we did actually. I don't know why he wouldn't jump for some reason, but he stood there and he just stood the whole time. <laughs> It was a physical game. They had some big guards, but they were kind of slow a little bit. So eventually start hitting shots a little bit and like getting outlets and the bigs were rebounding. And we start transitioning and fast breaking on them. I think I'm one of the leaders of the team. Kind of get everybody going. Tough situations, I talk to them and, you know, let them notice, you know, it's still our game and I provide energy for the team, you know, sparks here and there throughout the game. No, no, don't let him out. He don't want it. He don't want it. He don't want it. That's why. Hey, you good? Hey, talk to him. Talk to him. Let's win this by 30. You know, you know what person Send the message. This is the beginning of a great season. Let's bust our ass. Family on three. Family. One, One two, two, three. Family. Family. Let's go.
Katay B. Katay B. Get fluids in and get to bed. We got 10 a.m. and we got three flipping games: 10, 12, 40, and six. So y'all gotta eat, drink, rest. Eat, drink, rest. Oh no, yes. And even 10 here is one back in Georgia, so that's a little better. But right now it's like 1 a.m. So, so we're playing basketball at 1 a.m. right now. So we get some sleep tonight. Get some sleep tonight. Final score, the Florida Rams 68, the Compton Magic 59. Got the first win, you already know. Florida Rams, we in here, home team hoop. It's a little late. Our time, Florida time, Georgia time. Pretty early over here in Las Vegas. Oh yeah, thank you. Tomorrow. 10 o'clock in the morning, we back at it. Trying to get a few more dubs. Came out here on a mission. About to get it done. We don't get tan in Georgia. We don't go out in the sun. That's how hot it is. <laughs> and it's humid heat, not that dry heat. Where are you from? Sweat. From Juliet, Georgia. One of the thuggest places ever. No, I'm just kidding. One of the nicest places ever. Nobody gets hurt when I'm from. I'm going to Lawrence, Kansas. Play KU ball. You already know all we do is win there. From day one. Rock Chuck. I don't even know what it means. Yeah, you do? I told you what it means. Oh, now I know what it means. Thanks to my man, Arnold. Or Arnold. <laughs> Let's go. What Rock Chuck means? Uh, it started at Raw, Raw, Jayhawk, and then they changed it to Rock Chuck. And then I did that big three game that a professor started in. These ain't Reeboks, really Jit. Stop saying that before I cut your dreads in your sleep. Tomorrow is going to be rough for both teams. Three games tomorrow. Too early, then we'll have a break, and then we're going to play. Hey, good win tonight, guys. Yeah. Way to play hard. Way to family play hard. on three. One, two, three. Family. family. family yeah. Why'd you have to put your nuts on, on dude like that? Good, man. Dude, I'm talking about. Side the ball around with me, man. We need to try to talk about LeBron. Last second round. Oh, shit. Three. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Everybody in. Hey, good win tonight, guys. Ten a.m. in the morning is uh, always a challenge. First game of the actual tournament. Uh, they have a, a good program as well. We bumped into them a couple times last year, and uh, you know had kind of a little built-in rivalry. Early morning games are always like really hard to play because you're never really loose. You have to do like a thousand stretches just to get loose, and you always start out slow, especially if you're not a morning person. Oh, did you get that on film? I just want to make sure. Houston, the Hoop Stars against the Florida Rams. There we go, let's go, let's go. Really, I just out there trying to go get it, man. I had a lot of dongs, blocks. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Turn it up. One time I did look, I saw Coach Donovan and um, Coach Self there. Talk to schools. It meant a lot. Coach Donovan was at every single game. I like him being at every game. It makes me play harder. There we go, let's go, let's go. Turn it up, turn it up. I also like that. He's just coming to support me. They really worked hard at recruiting him. And Casey's been in Florida at their little camp since he was in sixth grade. You know, we paid to send him up there to camp. And so he's seen the facilities. He knows Coach Donovan. Coach Donovan loves him. And I think he's going to kind of hand him the ball and set some screens and, and let it ride. <laughs> He's trying to bring Chris Walker with me. With his left, 
all unbalanced. That dog was sick. That dog I had was very nasty. Ran it through it to me. It's like, man, I'm finna kill this dude. So I caught the bad left hand on him and just dunked on him and made him fall. I never seen nobody like dunk like that for for his position and be so coordinated and use his left hand. So it was a nasty dunk. One of the best plays I've ever seen live. Wrapped his legs around the guy and banged on him with his left hand. I knew he was gonna try to dunk it. And I didn't know it was gonna happen like that. It was I don't know, it's probably the top dunk on of the year. Good take, and one. Hey, boy, nice finish, nice finish. It's a grown man move. Roll, roll, roll. Oh, dang. Nice dunk, boy. Let's get after these guys, and as soon as we get the ball, Casey, let's push this shit down their throat. Family on three. One, One two, three. Bam! Boom. Let's go. No, what they got? Right there, number 35. He's a sophomore? He just helped with that. He's a sophomore. He blocks a lot of shots. Do they run him off the, uh, the post? I mean, off the screens? Does he like to get the ball on the block? Does he like to get it he'll, face up? He'll come out to the wing, get it. He'll, he'll go off the dribble. A little bit, he'll, he'll pull up on him. He'll get a rebound on the post and just go up and slam on you. It was a lot of hype around one of the kids on the team, on the other team, and, you know, they were, they had said the previous game that he had, you know, went off and that he was going to do the same on us. And, you know, coach talked to me before the game and told me that was my defensive assignment. Chris, this is make your name right here. Talk a little shit. Let me see what he's made of. 35, I want crazy ball pressure. Okay, we can help, we can help on this team. He'll catch the ball on the wing. He can shoot it. He can put it on the floor. And he will he will bang on your ass. 35, top five player in the country. Serious bounce. Serious swag. Let's finish this. This, is, this thing's personal. Let's roll. One, two, three. Let's get a stop, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Good defense, man. Good D. Good D. Go. Yeah, we go. Let's go. Let's get after these guys. Y'all ready to do this? Hey, let's win this thing by 50, man. Let's bust their ass. That's game, right? Let's go, bring it in. That's it. Let's go, guys. Right, we played basketball today. We had no turnovers. We executed. We played defense. Y'all weren't around. That makes a big difference. Uh, that game was, <laughs> it was, that was an easy game. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than that, but we were hitting shots, playing good defense. We had bonus in How many bonus in And it's under end. Everything. This man, come on, come on, man. This a dance in the rain, man. It'd be so cool. Over at the park. Oh yeah. Well, I was trying to come to your game. Was that a hurricane? Was that a hurricane? Was it a legit hurricane? Come to the park. Got a hurricane walk. Hurricane walk. All right, let's go. Good job, guys. Good job. Go on, Blue. You gotta want this shit, all right? Because you don't just walk out here and win these games, okay? This team we played at Adidas Invitational Championship. It was a freaking war on national TV. We beat them. The year before that, we sent them home in Vegas. They got some, they wanna get back at us. All right, and now, even though y'all don't know them, they, they know this shirt. One, two, three, Bam. Bam. let's go. If Casey calls something, go with it. All right. But yay, hey, we're giving you guidance, but if Casey calls something, go with it. All right. Good shot, boy. I like that. He called for that.
Y'all act like y'all don't want to work this morning. Y'all don't want it. We don't want it. Y'all see what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a fist fight the whole day. When you miss free throws, don't get upset. I don't give a shit about that. Everybody misses. But what, what matters is winning this game. It was a real intense game, probably the most intense game we had. We beat them over the past three years a couple of times, and whenever they see that they're matched up with us, they're coming at our necks. This ain't no bullshit team. You can't be just firing shit up, nobody getting back and taking stupid fouls. We're, we're the eight points now. He just told us, plain and simple, we have to let our egos go. I know that, I'm just saying. We're eight points now, it's time to turn it up. I think he's a great coach. I love him. He's my father, basically. stay in the game but the reason you got to stay in the game is because that defensive effort the rebound and just fucking hustling and being everywhere going you gotta you gotta be that guy okay yeah. we're gonna win this game i gotta have you out there yeah. let's roll hey are we losing this game because yeah. right now they wanted it more than us we got to want it more than them in a second y'all ready to roll oh. family on three family, family. Right family. let's go one two three family let's go this shit. good job Marcus is a very good player. He's athletic, quick, strong, jumps out the gym. So athletic and can get to the basket so easily. You know, one dribble through the three-point line and he's, you know, coasting to the basket and he's shooting it. He's done a lot of hard work the last three or four months on his individual skills and it's definitely paying off. I mean, the sky's the limit for him. He's one of the best athletes in the country and, you know, he's going to get recruited at a very high level. Number 13, Jason Jenkins. Count the bucket, he'll go to the line. 
we were losing probably the whole game. We didn't get the lead until the second half. Player stepped up. Chris got a big tip for us. Brandon had a big three and had a big steal for us. Big shot, big steal. Big shot, big steal. Big shot, big steal. Yeah, big shot. Yeah, like that guy. Like when that ball was in the air. I was like, oh, because I was behind him, bro, and it looked good. But it curved. Richie, Mr. the hood. Where's the turtle, man? Where's the strap up? I told him, boy, we're going to lose it. Told him. Mark it. You don't stop finger rolling the ball, bro. I don't care how I finish it, but I want that to win. I know I was high as hell, bro. Because I caught it like this, and I just. I know what it was. It was a brain dead but happy shirt. <laughs> Dang, bro. Playing New York City teams, they're always going to be tough. Their their guards are some of the best guards in the country. You know, New York City basketball is, you know, the peak of basketball for our country. So to be able to play those guys and beat them is a testament to, you know, our Florida kids who people say are just athletes. There was two slipper spots on the floor on those Adidas decals. Yeah. Those are stickers. No, right that's not painted on the floor. And they, they, there was three slips in a row at half court, yeah. and there was one right in front of our bench. And the ref told him, well, you need to just stay clear of those areas. Just go get a fucking towel and wipe it off, you idiot. That, that's what Matt you told mean? him. I'm like, Matt, shut up before you get kicked out again. <laughs> just shut up. Stay. I thought we was in trouble when uh, we ran that high ball screen at the end for Casey, and they turned it over, and the fat dude went down there and missed that layup. You make that layup, it's a problem. Oh, yeah. Chris Walker didn't give up on the play. He ran him down. If he'd have gave up on the play, Fat Boy would have missed it, got his own rebound and scored it. Now we got, I don't want to say privileged kids, but we don't have anybody on here that really come from some super hard, adverse circumstances. You know, you find kids on yeah, some of these teams in yeah. the New York area and You're stuff right. like that. Yeah. You know, them motherfuckers yeah. ain't got nothing, nothing but this. Other than Dallas and Casey, none of our kids know what the hell a New Heights is. It was just another team to them. Shit, we got hit in the mouth, and we were, oh shit, this is serious. And when he got hit, it was an accident. Mm -hmm. Casey crossed him over and accidentally hit him in the nut. I think it was his nut, it was his knee or something. But that was an accident. That wasn't like he was maliciously trying to slam the dude on the ground, son. Not only that, he was running for Casey anyway. They told him to go get Casey and knock him down. So Casey didn't. Run into him, he was in the kitchen. You sitting here telling him to go run him down and knock him off. 
knock them off the court. Really? Once you get here, you win at all costs, whatever it takes, okay? I know we're banged up. I know we're tired. This is the last game of the freaking weekend, and it all gets left on the floor right here. Are we winning this thing? Oh, we, we didn't come this damn far to lose, did we? Hey, family on three. One, two, three. Go, guys, go. Get it right. So, you know, I'm just shooting you, man. I think that's it. We start to throw it around. Oh, yeah. Full speed. That's my boy, Demarcus. Hey, told you about all that, that finger roll crap. In the game, I want, I, I know in the game, I want to see it, though. Did we come this far to lose? Hell no. Uh, you attack the zone because you're fresh and you yeah. can attack the gap. Say, hey, let's win this on three. On three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Win. If I lose it, that's right. It ain't real. Is it real? No. Nah. Oh, it's plastic. <laughs> I mean, it's still in silver, though. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the grand finale. The big enchilada. The championship game of the inaugural Adidas VIP exclusive run. can't replace a Casey Hill. You just can't put enough words on it. He's a one-man press break. His vocal leadership, his ability to, to run a team, his ability to just turn it on when he wants to turn it on is just ridiculous. So he's special. The game's totally different without Casey in the game. He does what he wants when he wants. It's my saying with him, and it's true. He's, it's always been that way. So and, and he seems to be a little more passionate and more motivated and, and just wanting it more these days. So he seems to be just getting better and better. I haven't seen too many point guards in his class or in many other classes that just bring that to the game. A lot of players can dominate the game, but when you can dominate the game and make everybody else around you better. Good move, Marcus. Good. Go, let's go. Stop ball. Yes, clap it up, clap it up. Casey. You're tired as sh They're sticking you as the off guard that when we hedge, you got to jump the passing lane down low. Do you need a breather? Can we call another timeout? Go, go sit down and get a water. Go sit down and get a drink. Nice. 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 
He's always one in the crowd, one in every crowd. Always one. Thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you, brother. That's just the first one. Exactly. That's just the first one. Good job, boy. Congratulations. The number one point guard in the country. Been a winner since, you know, he was 10 years old. You know, won every level he's been at and never plateaued and just continue to get better. He's the best in the business. I mean, he's a team player. All he cares about is winning, and he can put the team on his back at any time, and, you know, he consistently does that. He's the most valuable player night in and night out. Just another trophy that I can take back home. Maybe just put it up in my room or something. That's about it. This thing's heavy, man. He heavy like our team. This is just a start, bro. Start. We try to take all of them home. Home team hoops, man. We out here, bro. After the tournament was over, Texas was one of the schools that called. And, uh, you know, they're in the Big 12. They're, they play big time basketball. They've never seen them play before. And, you know, they want to try to get involved and recruit them. So schools of that caliber are going to continue to, to try to get involved. Chris got bounce, like, man. Dang, man. He jumped so quick. Are you left handed, too? Okay, LeBron. <laughs> Okay, you one of them dudes, huh? All right, the next Tim Tebow right here. You're going to get a statue right next to Tebow. Nah. No. <laughs> you good, man? man you think we don't mess with that gator clap, man. We don't ride with it, huh? You already know. He going here. Yeah, he going to end up going. Oh, Kansas? Yeah, he going to leave Kansas. He going to come to Florida. He know. The hard work pay off. First Amendment? Yeah. Three more. Four more, whatever it is. How many turners we got? Rib. Man, got no clothes on. I gotta take the boo boo, man. Are you serious? Yeah. What's going on, city? Yeah. Hot, man. Just got through running through this airport. We almost missed this flight. Sitting all the way in the back, no legs, man. Can't even leave the seat. Man. I don't understand this. You know it is. Four hours. It's not fast. Oh, that's that hurt. It really is, because he got through security and all. Oh, that's that hurt. He's sleeping in the airport tonight. But you don't understand what it looked like when Matt running through this airport right now. Oh. <laughs> I you think it's funny that the lady bumping her head? I bet it took the flip flops off. Bro, you see how wide Matt feet is? <laughs> I ain't got no Lord of the Rings. <laughs> hey, Jeff, get left with him. You don't want to go to school, huh? You go to the one. Four eleven. So swole right now. Man, I dump that. Just that dude a drink. One of the most uncomfortable flights I've ever been on in my life. Reporting live at the Smith Center. <laughs> Going up in Orlando, I mean, it's pretty good. It ain't all that Hollywood stuff, but I've been in Orlando my whole life. I ain't never leave it. I don't want to leave it. This is my hometown. I'm, I'm doing it from the city, man. Orlando, baby. Listen, let's do this. We in here. <laughs>
you grow up playing basketball on the outside court. A lot of rough playing, getting elbowed, pushed around, just playing real tough. There ain't none of that soft crap inside the hole. If you go in the hole, you you guaranteed to get bowled in the mouth. I grew up on 18th Street, a lot of fighting, like shooting around there. Of course, I wasn't involved. Just from seeing my other cousins like grow up with all the gang violence and all that, shooting at people, going to jail, in and out of jail, selling weed and all that stuff, like I wasn't really interested in it. Like, I just wanted to like do better, like to be the person in my family like that to do something with his life. I got a big summer ahead of me though. You know, something might just happen like that. And it's gonna be a hard decision. Where y'all gonna be next time? Um, Atlanta. <laughs> That's gonna be five, boy. <laughs> you know you gotta dunk on somebody. But you want Barbie though. And hey, y'all gonna let me get a rebound? What's the squad gonna be though? Bro, I don't know, bro, whoever get picked up. <laughs> you don't want none of this jump shot, dog. Oh, bro, you don't want none, bro. Like I say you jump. On, bro. bro, the man think I can't shoot, bro. All right. All right. Let me show this man, dog. Can, can I? I shoot it with the left hand. I shoot. You don't want it with the left. You don't want it with the left. Oh, you don't want none. You want it? Oh yeah, let's tag team this. Oh, let's tag team this. We go, hey, we go tag team this. <laughs> That's messed up. What? I can't who? We go tag team this. We go tag team this. Oh yeah, that's how we do it. Oh yeah. Let's go. I wanna play too. <laughs> you ready to do this, man? I know I'm ready, bro. <laughs> We ready, man. Hello. See you, boy. Get up. They hating, bro. than football first at a basketball. When I was growing up, it was all about football. If my mom put the rock in my hand, like I just I just started liking it. I started doing the ball outside every day. I just got used to it. And I want to play the game of basketball. It was my mom. One day she was like, why you like football so much? <laughs> like trying to be funny. I like, I like to play the game. She's like, why you don't try basketball? So she one day she went out, bought me a basketball, went, went to the court, went to shooting. Like, I was hitting like everything, shooting with two hands. You know, everybody shoot with twins when they're young. Six or seven years old, still playing football at the time, dude. And I had real good hands, so I was right with you. Were you good at it? Of course I was good at it, man. <laughs> I'm athletic. I was one of the fastest persons on my team besides Kermit that go to my school now. He was the first player, I was the second, so they threw me at Rob Steele, and I had to work for that spot. My best game, I don't know who was playing, I remember I had three touchdowns, like a hundred and something yards. And, um, and I told my coach to put me on defensive end for one play. And I got in that one play and I, and I sacked the quarterback and he fumbled. And then um, one of the boys on my team ran it back for a touchdown for like 40 yards or something like that. You can't get it. <laughs> you can't get it. Can't. You try to hype me up. <laughs>
going to go to all you can eat restaurant. I'm home here, don't know what. How do you feel when you see the rankings in Florida Rams at number one? Um, I mean, you got to work for it, though. I, mean, I think we should be number one, though, but we got to work for it to get number one. We left from Jeff House in Claremont. We left like around 4 o'clock, 4.30, 30-ish, something like that. Then we headed to Atlanta. What do you think people think when they see the Florida Rams play? Uh-oh. They get whooped. <laughs> What's the goal going into this tournament? Win every game. Right in. It was long. Boring. I just slept the whole time. I was good. We arrived like at around noon, 12, 12, 30, something like that. And when we got here, we had to wait on everybody else. We got our stuff. We had to wait at the hotel for like 20, 30 minutes till we got in. Let's touch down in Atlanta. So I'm about to go to sleep. Give me some more rest. Game at 8 o'clock tonight. So I'm going in later on tonight. That's about it. Score Chris right now. Right now we're in um, Atlanta. I wait to this game. I know who we play. Whoever we play, finna kill him. You know what I'm saying? Now if we have the team, we're about to dominate. Get buckets. Let's go. Headphones at home. Okay. Eyes in here for one minute. I know your attention span's a little short. Jojo, right here. Listen. Last week, I got three compliments from head coaches, college coaches, and two other AAU coaches on how y'all played harder than everybody we played, okay? You played harder, so the college coaches know if you're gonna play hard for summer ball, they can work with that, okay? It's the little things I've been telling you about. Your demeanor, your, your, um, your facial expressions you make, how you stay in tune to the game. We keep playing harder than everybody, because we're gonna get better. It's over, game over, all right? Two more things. We played harder, but this tournament, we're going to start out annihilating people because we got a lot better last weekend, okay? We're not taking any possessions off. When we walk through them damn doors, it's time to turn it up another notch, okay? So no matter what y'all are doing, we're getting after people. Last story. Last team I had last year, I had two guys that hadn't signed yet. Both of them got their scholarships done today. So everybody that's played for me that's been ready to go to college has got a scholarship. So each one of you guys better be ready to get your ass in the game today and get it done. You got me? When you come in, let's go get yours. So we bang on in the first play. It's a wrap. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hey, well, the last thing for me. We're missing Davenport, which is the guy that talks the best on defense for help side defense. So Demarcus, when you finally figured out what help side was last week, you got four steals in a row. Okay. Yeah. How to head those screens and stuff helps. Those little things help. Okay, guys. Let's not pick up where we left off. Or let's do pick up where we left off and let's not start over again. Y'all ready to do this, fellas? Yeah, hey, we're back. Get in here, right here on Dallas. We're, we're, we're not, hey, dominate. <laughs> we're going to dominate. Let's dominate this weekend. Let's dominate. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. 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 Go to the bathroom, get your shoes on. Tonight's the first game of the tournament. Our plan is just to go ahead and beat them in the first three minutes of the game, duck on a few people, put them on mixtapes, and get the win. Man, man, sport. Huh? I got a yam today. What? I got a yam. I got hey, one listen. too. You know how he is? He be like, it's over the round. Listen, listen, listen. I see what Rob said. Aha, bro. Come on, read it. Punch, you know. It's going to be so unexpected. Ain't nobody going to know what he's going to do. Damn, it's got to be a good weekend for you. Shout out to home team who Florida is not the best state for basketball. I repeat, Florida is not the best state for basketball. It's Georgia all the way. That's why he committed to Kansas. That's why I committed to Kansas. Fan support out to booty. Oh, defense support. And Coach Self D1. And Coach Self D1. Great coach. Got on a D3 outfit, though. Got on and a D3 outfit, though. outfit, though. His swag is not on point today. Maui Invitational. Pete, his swag is not on point today. Yeah. Him and Coach Dooley. Coach Dooley got a little swag, though.
Way to get back and protect the rim, son. You got, you got Walker? Yeah, 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 yeah. See you guys. You know he can't do two things at once. Hey, at least you tried, man. You almost, you tried to get it there, right? <laughs> Poster, man, for the camera, man. Yeah, it was going to but I had to throw it to Chris. Come to Chris. First game, it went good. It went good for everybody. We didn't have to do anything because we were blowing them out by like 30 points. Three with the window screen or the three revised three we pulled up because that's what's going to mess them up. We got to talk about this. What? You want to shoot a three? Yeah. If we run three with the window screen or three the way Dave showed you? Not the way he did. All right, well, the way he did it. Yeah, I ain't running no windows for me. Ain't that Well, the way he did it, that means Dallas has got to come across and catch the ball, and then you just clear out for the shot. I know they one of them games where it's a blowout. <laughs> we kind of lose your focus out there. Oh, we've lost it. Dial them in, baby. Hey, we've lost it. We've lost it. Oh, yeah, 10 seconds. Hey, let's go. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. There's college coaches in the building. Don't let them Don't let them come out and embarrass your ass these first four minutes. Don't Punch them in their foot. Punch them in their foot. Mouth, you understand me? Run the lanes. Finish. One, two, three. Finish. Go. chopped at him. <laughs> I just disrespectful. He couldn't do me like that though. Like, it just came out of nowhere. He told me he was gonna gator chop before, when he dug on somebody. I wouldn't expect him to be like that though. Everybody was crazy. Like the crowd was still there, how the crowd was when the game started, it would have been a whole lot louder, but yeah, everybody was going crazy. Oh, yeah, Chris, all the way back. Talk about that dog. No, that's my dog. That's my dog right there. Did you see that man? Oh my god, that was oh, yeah. the jump up by you. Oh my god. Tell everybody what happened. I don't know. I just dunked. You just got that one, too. Something told me something bad was going to happen next time he go try to dunk it, and they just undercut him, and he flipped and hit the ground. I was just hoping he wasn't hurt, and he just hopped back up. Hey, Rev, don't get nobody hurt now. Right. Oh. Now, that was the first one, but don't let them get nobody oh, hurt out there. If they... Coming back here, I'll... You did like a whole full flip in the air. What'd you land on? Lucky. Oh, you're lucky. Don't worry about it. I was on the bench. I looked behind us like it wasn't nobody on the middle court. Everybody was like watching us just going crazy every time we dunk, especially Casey Hill and Chris. It's the first game. It's on a Friday night. We've been traveling all day. Cramping. Game's over. Hey, good game, buddy. How nasty was that? Nasty as Man, move, Khalil. My head is playing. He's playing it. Oh, my God. It's Kentucky. All right. Florida. All right. Syracuse. Kansas. Ohio State. And Baylor. Yeah, your non jump shot shooting ass yesterday. You need to stretch. I feel it. Right in and it came right back out. If you say so, 0 for 97 for the free throw line. <laughs> Jumping your ass up there to shoot the technical foul. No, Max, I got this. Oh, no, he told me, he told me who's your outlier. I'm not, I good. <laughs> I got this. I got, I got this. this. Cavs. Give me what you got, man.
was crazy. Like, he was in there yelling in the room about cramping up. He didn't want to go to sleep because he was scared he was going to cramp up. He um, put a lot of biofreeze and icy hot on last night. This morning he was still cramping, but somehow he still played today. I got the little white kid on me. I'm going to the block. Right, there you go. There you go. There you go. All day long. That little guard in there, kill it. He did a nice behind 2K spin. <laughs> I don't see how his legs was hurting when he spun like that. Then he went baseline and dumped it. He just wanted everybody to pick it up. So I, I felt like that should be me. I'm like the energy guy, like mainly the X factor on the team. So if I pick it up, everybody else gonna pick it up. Joe Johnson with a choice but to come out here and play hard. Let's knock this shit down and go home. The playoffs are on. The Heat's playing who? Uh, he Heat play Knicks. Heat's play the 9 Knicks. 30. Let's go. Let's go. 3 30. 3 30. Hey, listen, Demarcus, we need a breakout game from you. Richie, you better be hooping and getting somebody's ass today. You got this, man? Hey, Brendan, get that ball to Dallas and run the lane. I need you to score and rebound, all right? Let's go finish these guys off early. Rams on three. One, two, three. Rams. Yeah. 
Dallas kid can shoot. He quick, like he's so short, it's hard to guard him. You're up here higher than everybody. So when Demarcus drives at you, you're catching that ball going north and south in one flip. You got Brandon as a shooter, and you got Z off the block. You turn the corner, clear a bang. Nobody on post moves now. Huh? Post moves now. I see you. About time. He has a little floater jump shot and a jump shot. Man, try to paint off that. Just one time. I tell you what. I tell you what. You dunk on somebody in this game. In two weeks, I had your car. I'll, I'll make sure you get the ball. I'm gonna wait on the Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna just steal and set that up. He's gonna run at me. I'm gonna just flip it back to you. He's gonna jump over Just jump over his head. Hell yeah. You're gonna so much handle. That's got handle. Hey, he's gonna flip over the shoot a three and make. Hey, between the lane, uh-uh, step back. Between the lane, step back. Five or six minutes in, and then you're done. All right, because we got a game tonight. It's gonna be a lot harder than this one. Who are you gonna play? Probably somebody like similar, like a Garner Road or something. Right. Now it's getting down to the good teams. Back to the hotel, another one tonight at 720. That's how we do grind time. Another win. Playoffs, baby, playoffs. Let's go.
Ball pressure on. Keep the ball pressure on. Listen, they're calling a timeout right now to skip the ball ahead. So if when they skip the ball ahead, you wings. Why are you in the middle? Just spying passes? Okay. When that ball goes to the corner, we got to get out. The wings got to sink down. That means that you're going to be out of position, okay? So you're going to have to drop to the post. First possession, go man to man. All right. And then we might jump back to the 1 3 1 next possession. Right. Let's, let's screw their heads up a little bit. like we just lost. We didn't play very good, but we didn't lose. Now who wants to win this game? <laughs> They're making free throws and we ain't. Good game, big boy. Coach, good game. Good luck tomorrow. Good game. Good game, guys. Good game. We have to hold each other accountable. There was a lot of little things we got away from. And for the first time, I seen you guys put your heads down today. How many of you all ever want to hear a team cheer like that after they beat y'all at the end of a game when we know we gave it to them? Good teams lose games like this. Great teams know when the blowouts are over and they step up and bring it. We're not great yet. We got great talent. We're not great yet. There was every one of you on this team, nobody gave us their best game today. Nobody. Probably didn't coach my best game today. We could have all done more to win this game. Even if you never stepped a foot in the damn game, you could have done more to cheer your teammates on or somebody could have done more. So what I want to know 
This is where it's, this is where teams like this either break up or they stay together. And they break up or stay together because everybody hates to lose. So are we going to blame coaches, refs, each other, or are we going to go back to this room tonight and say, what should I have done better for us to close this game out and win it? Because we had many, 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 many chances to win the game. So if you want to be the best, you got to be the best every possession. And we weren't. If you want to be the best, you hold each other accountable and yourself accountable. Yep. And if you want to be the best, we just grow from this. Hey, get in here. Let's go. Family. 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 Las Vegas, back in the bay. Back in the the bay. bay. Yeah, bitch gonna be walking in it. No, I'm not. I'm gonna be chilling. I promise you, I ain't going on a trip. Cause once you get on there, you be like, damn, why did I, why did I walk on it? I'm gonna go if everybody else goes. The bay. I'm gonna call it Vegas. So listen, you heard it here first. What you gonna do? I'm taking off. What you mean? One hand on it. Bam. Then when I do it, take it off. Since I ain't no like gator clapping none for for me. I'm just gonna. You ain't <laughs> I'm not for real. I'm not for real. When I do it, I'm just gonna. I was thinking, like, what can I'm you do? Like... Like... Home team. Home team. Shout out to KU. You no, know, I'm gonna be like, shout out to Kentucky. Because y'all beat KU. <laughs> yeah, you heard me, Bill Show. You heard me. You heard me. You better watch out. All the Africans and stuff with Jeff and Casey. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be like five strong. We're, like... gonna be, we're gonna be six deep at the game. For real? For so one Six deep? Who? Oh, that's four. Four, Chris. And Demarcus. Demarcus ain't here? Yes, he is. Where? He just got here. He just got here. On the... He took a plane. Really? Yeah, it was on Twitter. Wow. We got two tomorrow, plus back again. Plus back again. Yeah. We should have played four tomorrow. We'd have had hell no. We'd have been tired. It would have been nice. Yeah. Warm-ups would have been like this before the game. Talk about layups. No lift. We got three tomorrow. Oh my God. We would have four tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I had. No lift left. It would have been like that. Four games. And it was spaced out. It was like four different four games. <laughs> four games. Four games in one day. Four games. Where's Matt at? Uh, Matt's five. fifth, though. What Matt at? Yeah, Matt is fresh today. Matt is fresh today. Matt is fifth. Matt got his hair slicked back for y'all today. If I don't do my job and try to defend the basket, my teammates gonna look at me in a totally different light. They gonna look at me. They can't trust me. They say, I don't he get said, so on. if you play, if you play this game long enough, everybody gets smashed on. Not like eventually, that though. Hey, I eventually get everybody gets smashed on. Not like that. Yeah. He said, if I don't get smashed on, then don't my teammates ain't gonna trust me. Exactly. My teammates ain't gonna trust if me. If I don't get smashed on, they got, I gotta get smashed on. <laughs> my blame. Well, he got bounced on that. Like, yeah, there was no way he shouldn't have protected. But there was no way he was going to win that battle. My thing is, look, he might as well just let that go. That's a, y'all. That's the difference between y'all generation and guys that grew up in my generation. You go, that's going to happen. I mean, that, that, that happened to some of the that that happened to some of the greatest players in the, in the in the. There's only the one Blake Griffin. Ever played a game. Okay, Dr. J is better, but did you just compare his bounce to Blake Griffin? Blake Griffin is 16, dude. Blake Griffin can fly. Blake Griffin bounces on boys. He bounces on boys. He bounces on the Jeff Blake. Yeah, I think it's a shoe, bro. It gotta be a shoe. No, That's he did not, not, not like that. Dominique Wilkins, the dunks he was doing in the dunk Come contest, on, he used to do in games, dude. Not like that, though. He got springs in the shoe. You That's have to go back. Go you back think? You honestly Wilkins. think Dominique Wilkins jumped higher than Blake Griffin? I'm not saying he jumped higher than Blake Griffin. I'm just saying. That's what I'm talking about. But well, he had more skill than Blake Griffin. I just said that. I'm Way talking more about a bounce. A dunk is a dunk. A bounce. You can be bounce. sorry and be able to dunk. Yeah, D-Wade yeah. gave it to Andrew Verge out. D-Wade gave oh, yeah. it to a bunch of people, man. Whole, Everybody's just giving it to everybody. Got exactly. He got a head. He got bodies, bro. <laughs> he got bodies. Defensive center or a shot blocker, eventually you're going to get fucked on. That happens. That's part of the game. Not like that. 
Okay. I'm just telling you, that's part of the game. It is, but not like that. Yeah, everybody get pounded. Everybody on. get dumped on. Pounded. But you know it's not that bad. That hurt it, right? It looked, it that like, hurt his heart. He deleted his Twitter page. <laughs> when you make he, someone. He said press why the, he did that, man. He said he deleted his Twitter page. He got tired of the nonsense. Exactly. Dude. Uh, I thought they said this was 10 minutes away. We've been riding in this car since 824. 836, you're almost at the jump. We lost it even. Yeah. We went a different way. He took us a different way. Oh, Lord. Then you ride on Shiloh Road. The school's off of Shiloh Road. Shiloh High School, Snellville. Six hours straight on the expressway to get here in time. Got straight off the van and had to come here and get dressed and play. Now I got to represent for my brother. I'm just happy for my brother, man. You know, glad he's doing good. Hope he make it to wherever he want to be in life, even if it ain't in basketball, as long as he's successful. <laughs> He put ice out of his eyes, Jeff. He can't see. Is it on your eyes? Yeah. Four hours that wide, you're away from the ball. Let's run through it real quick. Y'all ready to win this thing? True. Hey, win this thing. Ready to win this thing. Samuel, three. One, two, three. Let's make a statement right here. We're our first day back together. One, two, three. Defense. Right now, our man. Oh, Five straight, five for five. He's just fun to watch, man. Jojo, you ready? Go. X, high low, Jojo, high low. Raj, run the four. Jojo finna go to work. I want you and Jojo to work the high low against this zone in a minute, okay? You can flash high. You gotta talk Jojo through it though, okay? Because <laughs> he don't know, all right? Four, four, up. Good job, Jojo. Jojo. Good shot, Walker. Good job, B. Good block. Hey, it's all right, listen. Sit down. Hey, listen. I know it wasn't. Listen, look at me. I know it wasn't a foul. We're good. Look, look at me. Look, look, hey, look, look. You get six here. You only got three. That means you got three more, all right? We're okay. I just want, to, I just want you to get loose tonight. Don't worry about it. So tomorrow, when we play a, a better team, a real team, y'all yeah. going to execute your shit, right? Okay. All right. All right. Uh, you said it, not me. So, so then if you're going to run the score up, then let's get up in somebody's ass and get some turnovers. All right. Turn it up. Is that crazy? It just don't even make sense. Yes, boy. 
Jojo, you ready? Come on. Call something, Marcus. Give it to Jojo. Let him work. Good job, Jojo! Good job, Jojo! Good job, Jojo! Way to get big, boy. That's why you're sitting. Right there. My dog. This game. Jojo, good finish, son. Styling. Took care of the job. Got it done. Three minutes to go in the game, they shut it down, so it was a good victory. Ain't no game no more, Ryan. Right? Ain't no joke, bro. You play so well with Casey, it seems like you guys just know where each other are all the time. Yeah. Playing with Casey, man, like, he makes it get easier for me. Like, he passed the motion to do best, man. That was a good-ass pass. Yeah, it was a good pass, man. I finished it. So is, there, is there the potential that he could influence where you go to school? Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. 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 It's okay. They have all the yeah. yeah. Hurry up, Marco. Marco, they're gonna miss the boat out there. They're gonna miss out, man. You guys could be brothers, you know that? We are. Small you heard brother that before? Right yeah, just bigger brother. little brother. See, a play, I got a girlfriend. I, I, I used to be, but you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to teach him my ways, he didn't listen. Yeah, I went with a girlfriend way instead. Kill her one day when, when she breaks his heart. I doubt it. Yeah, he did. He had like five trees. Good win. <laughs> Grab some we're probably going to go back to the Florida Rams Hotel, and we're going to sit and marinate. You're right about that chili. It's lit cold out here. You're going to beat him way too many times. I know. He'll he he play you anymore. He'll come towards another van. He only want to mess with OKC. What? I got an address, OK? Video game and all, man. Hey man, we got a whole video game, TV, and 2K in Man, no game, and no, you can't ride. I don't know you were gonna call next, and you know what I'm gonna tell you? You know. <laughs>While you're on this floor, play under control. Don't do nothing stupid out there, because this floor sucks. Beat your guy, pass it, lob it, finish it. Be smart. No. Yeah, yeah, you're out there. Let's go. Box, outlet, go. Go, run, JoJo, run. Run, JoJo. Walker, you tired? All right. Up top. All right, Chris. Be a guard. Get to the f***ing rim. Walker's got your back. Well, y'all got to play. I mean, I'd be talking trash, too, if I was down three to y'all. Let's go. Turn it up. Huh? No, we man up, man. It's a three-point game. We got to start playing. And one! Outlet. Good, good. Yes, sir. That was bad, bro. Good job, bro. Jojo. Big guy got there, man. Good job, Jojo. What did you talk about last night? I told him. Seven feet back. Yeah, he got to bring the ball to you. You play the ball up here. You should never, ever have to reach out and get a basketball. Let him come to you. Way to play, Brennan. 
Great half. He drives, come get the rebound. Okay. Back, back. Oh, you went over and back. Good job, Jojo. You been talking all game? I got it. I got it. So can you go play without talking to anybody? Yeah, Other, okay. Right. Don't even talk to your own teammates right now. Because right. I can't get you thrown out or you got to come back later. All right. Now when you dunk, turn around and look at that motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Right? When you dunk on the bitch, turn around and look at it. Hey, hey, let's get a damn steal right here. Let's get a steal. Marcus, let's go. Let's get this shit. Finish. One, two, three, finish. Let's go. Let's go. Finish that. Finish that. I'm coaching my team, man. Let's keep it professional, dude. You know you talking the whole game. Get that team drunk right now, too. I'm not saying nothing to that, man. So G on the clock. He can talk a bit, but the whole game. We gassed his head up. Gassed his ass. Thought he was going to block me off the backboard, and I threw the lock. Teach all he had, my dog. He home team hoops. Hey, who's that? Did y'all see that? Y'all seen that? That man thought he was gonna get him on the glass, man. He got sat on. That's how we do in Florida. All the way to Georgia. We're gonna fly back. <laughs> Coaching him, man. I called, I said, man, you cold blooded, bro. It was exciting because that game, it was real intense. The, the other team was talking a lot. The coach was talking a lot. And I knew it was gonna happen before it did when he gave it up and got it back. I, I already knew. I don't know why the kid jumped, but because I know they watch us in warm-ups. They have, you know, I know they see uh, the athleticism that we have as a team. So, but it was a, it was a good play. No, and he made it. And if Vanny goes, I want to score. Between the legs, JoJo. Hey, let's go with the big lineup. You ready? 
Remember, A, it's a 1-2-2 two, two, full court down to a 3-2, okay? Talk on defense. Big guys play hard. Take the passing lanes, JoJo. Y'all talk to each other. Let the big guys know where to be. Take all the passing lanes. Right, on every rebound, we run. Right, run your big asses down the floor. I bet you can't do you, you, you like this. Me and Dunk, they what I talk. All right, Chris. Go to work, JoJo. Good move, JoJo. Good move, JoJo. Way to, way to be strong. They're just sitting out because those are little guys. And a big guy, that's a good move. Good. Outlet, let's go. Good job, JoJo. Go get it, Brady. Go get it. Go, give it up. One more, one more. Good shot. Good luck, JoJo. My dog. Jojo, help him up. Help him up. Good work, Jojo. Man, you don't know how tempted I was to throw between these legs. I thought you was. Y'all see that? Y'all see the scope? It's 40 to 19. This shit is nasty. Jojo! Jojo's working out right now, boy. Time out, time out, time out. Cool. Get Jojo. That's it, Jojo, you're done. Eight points in a row. They, that's how I'm talking about, bro. Play like a real big man, bro. Every time you get the ball, you're supposed to try to dunk on him. Every time. Whoa, good hustle, boy. He messed Richie's ass up. Richie didn't know what to do. He said, shh. <laughs> You got eight, go. Yeah. Jojo, it's over. They're going to, you can stay there. It's gonna, they're going to stop it, though. My man said I got eight, I want 10 points. I mean, 10 points. My bad, Jojo. If I'd have known, I'd have let you in. Yeah, you got four shots in a row. Four, five, three. No shot, no shot. Hold the ball. Just got another dub. 36 points. On the bracket play. We will get a dub. This won't happen like that. Like last week, it's not gonna happen again. We won't have a repeat of that. About 18 seconds and checking out of here, going to sleep. <laughs> what time's the next game? I don't care. It don't even matter. We don't know. We just know when it's time we're gonna ball. Checking out of here. You turn the move. Hey Rick, you perform the exorcism on your neck. <laughs> hey, rich neck everywhere. Hey, rich did a heat and all that shit crack. We jumped out, you know, really quick and you know, got up and was able to keep the lead and I guess the mercy rule is up by twenty with three minutes or something like that and that's what we had the first three games and Everything was clicking for us. Ha, ha, ha.
Hey, what's up, man? It's Chris Walker, man. And this game, team ain't sorry. I'm going to get y'all a poster, man. Shout out to Homes and Hoops. Shout out to my boy, Jordan McAllister. Shout out to all my homies, man. You already know what's going down, man. It's going down, man. It's easy, man. Cumulative time. Swagger time 23. It's my time and my grind, man. Hey, what's up, man? Shout out to Homes Hoops, man. <laughs> Chris, I swear, like, your free throw percentage like, 33 on the season. Chris know he gonna miss when he get fouled. Damn. Damn, I'm going to the free throw line. He got, like, a magnet to the rim. Like, sometimes you're just not supposed to make the shots that you make, Dallas. You can't be like this. The coach was telling us all during warm-ups, you know, this is not gonna be a team that you will probably mercy rule. They're gonna come out and play fundamental basketball. The tournament we just lost, right? We stopped playing. It was this game. We weren't prepared. The team you're fixing to play, one, the tournament we lost. They beat Garner Road. They beat Garner Road by 20. They, the, the team we played the championship in Vegas, they plus 20 their ass in the final four and won the championship by a good night. They won a championship last game? Well, they won like Bob Kidd. They turned and he lost one. They don't want you walking out here and some You got eight minutes to get your ass loose. Jojo. Jojo's so smooth with it, though. I know what I'm talking about. Been down here working on that Jimmy for nothing. Been down here working on that Jimmy for nothing. Been, been down here working on that Jimmy for nothing. <laughs> I'm saying, oh, why that line thick? Because you keep shooting the ball. That nigga's going through the line. What you want to do? Shoot me the one. Huh? Shoot me the one. Jojo. Stop. Jojo, MB. He do it so easy. One, two, three, family. Mercy Rule, the first games that we had, the coaches were all telling us, you know, this is a different team. This is the team that they won the last tournament that we were at. And I don't know if, you know, the team took it serious or not. We came out kind of slow and they jumped on us and we were just trying to fight back. He don't want it, take it from him. There you go, do him! That's what I'm talking about! Get that ball, Chris. To the rack, bro. Go by him! You got no business in front of you. Come on, man! Hey, Ralph, what was the difference on the other end? You remember Coach Donovan told you to quit going in the lane and doing all this? You gotta initiate the contact. Like, you're getting hit. But you're, but you're not, you're not initiating it. You're moving around trying to avoid the contact. Make, I know, make the contact. I know. Take the contact. Okay, let's face it, we did. I'm telling you right now, we're not getting much stops. We're not getting much stops. We're not getting out on defense. The first time I seen you push the ball was last possession. He was down there by himself. So when we rebound, everybody's got to run. Tight up, talk on defense, and turn this up a couple notches. Take over the game. Can't nobody, can't nobody in on their team stay in front of you. You got one move and go bomb. 
you you're gonna get to the rack every time. It's gonna either be you getting the basket or you're gonna assist somebody to get the basket. Just ain't nobody in here stay in front of you, man. You really thought that was gonna work? We gotta let them get layups ever since they hit four jump shots. We're down 12 points, that's six possessions. One, three, one, let's get out on it, talk on defense. What? Travel? What game you watching? Nah, your kids need to get in the weight room. They the ones getting hurt. They the ones getting hurt. You need to put them in the weight room. I don't play no more. Well, put your money down. I got my money on number one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that talking. I got my money on number one. Put your money down. Oh, all right, I got my money on number one. You put your money down. because he dunked one time? Because he dunked one time? What, what, what is his ranking? What is his ranking? Huh? Y'all jump out the gym because he got a dunk? They must don't know Casey Hill. All you got to do is Google Casey Hill. He jump out the gym because he get one dunk. They jump out the gym, hallelujah. Yeah. yeah, my brother Casey. He jump out the gym because he get a dunk. Huh? Yeah. JoJo, that's JoJo. Yeah. Whoa! Come on! What was that? JoJo's play this tournament, I think, personally, was, was great. Uh, I think a lot of people don't know who JoJo is. But by the end of the summer, they will. People take away from how athletic that he really is to be so tall because of his height. And one, guys. Get a stop, get a stop. He elbowed my guy in the head. Hit him back, JoJo. If he elbows you again, you hit him back. Jojo, that's what I'm talking about, Jojo. He finished through contact and hung on the rim and then stared the kid down running back. It was funny. There's a, that's a hold and a grab. Don't reach, just bang his ass like he banged you. You should stay on your end, I'll stay on mine. How about that? Yeah, you do what you do. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. He can't handle you. Sit in him. Sit in him. Sit in him. There you go. There you go. Oh, that's a foul. took 12 jump shots in the last seven minutes. 12 jump shots. We've maybe hit one or two. What's wrong with getting to the rim and taking contact? Casey, doing a great job of hustling. But why'd you, take, why'd you take the spin? Take the contact. Take the contact. I know they're not giving you half of them, but we got to get the other half because we're not scoring either way. We got to be more physical than them. Hey, who's guarding the point guard? You? Get in him. Get in to the point to where you can almost have to foul on him. Okay, get a steal or foul. Let's go.
drugs off your head. Losing games is not the end of the world. We cannot continue this. It's a trend. It starts in warm-ups. The cameras are here. We're 360 in, we're, we're, we're between our legs, windmilling. All that looks great on camera until you walk out there and get your ass beat. It's happened twice in a row to teams that aren't as good as you. I don't understand at what point you decided that winning basketball games wasn't important. You think it's bad here? Wait till you go to college. You, none of you bitches are ready for college. Now, now never motherfucking one of you. Because you're not ready for real life. I bought into the talent and the hype too. Most talented team I ever coached. You guys are by far. <laughs> Forget it. My good, a couple of y'all might be playing at the highest level one day. Okay? I bought into it. We're going to be good enough to turn the switch and just win. You're no different than anybody else out there on that floor. If you don't want it more than them, you're never going to win it. Ever. We're, we're as parents and coaches, we love you guys. But I'm, bar I'm embarrassed for you. I'm so, I'm so embarrassed for you guys. Now, I'm just, I'm, you, last year we were the B team, okay? The frickin' B team. We had Casey and Dallas and Landry and Michelle and not a whole lot after that, and Dylan Graham, okay? And we walked in and mowed through all teams just like you, all the talented, best kids in the country, Shabazz Muhammad, my ass, they suck. Because we wanted it more. We had a chip and we got on your back and you carried us. And I'm gonna be honest, you ain't doing that shit right now. And you need to soul search a little bit. We do need somebody else on the team to step up and you know talk on the court and be an extension of the coaching staff on the court. Because it's just not who Casey is when he plays, he's real, he doesn't really say anything. He just leads by example and you know, we all know that once he gets going that we gotta get with the program and you know, we gotta step it up too. It's your reputation, it's your reputation, and it's your reputation. The rest of these guys, they don't have the scouts kicking the shit out of them after every time they lose. And he's right, nobody wants to be a leader. I don't get it. It's your future, your future, all y'all's future. I'm gonna make subs on Monday. It ain't changing for me. Get in here. Family. You win together, you lose together. And you better start getting together. Family! I expect to see a, a totally different team. A team that's about winning. And you know, because now I think we have a team full of um, people that's worried about stats. And instead of buying in to the coaching staff and playing for each other so we can win, um, I think people are playing for themselves. You're the most talented team in the country, which you are. Well, let's play like it. Every rebound we get, JoJo, is high. Casey will find the ball, and we will get it to him. And everybody else is running lanes. Okay? The day he becomes selfish, I'll worry about that. I want the ball in his hands, and I want everybody else sprinting down the floor. We're shooting 40-something threes a game. We got the best close players in the country, and they don't touch the ball. I'm tired of that. New start line. Going with Casey, Marcus, Brandon, Walker, and JoJo. Very well, one of these two teams that we play today, we might see in the championship. Because we will be in the championship. We're not losing the first game of bracket play ever again. Character is what you do when people ain't looking. Yeah. College coaches was looking in the first tournament, and you played. They haven't been looking in the last two tournaments, and you see what happened. If we don't have a super pool, we beat up on scrubs, and we think we did something because the camera's on. As soon as we play a team with a heartbeat, we can't win. You can get whatever you lost, whatever that was, back by running through this tournament and beating Team Nashville because the way they're playing, they'll be there in the end. Yeah, that's it. That's the way to be. On three. Teamwork on three. One, One two, two, three. three. Teamwork! Teamwork. Hey man, y'all make sure y'all don't leave y'all trash. Y'all left a whole lot of trash in the lobby, man. You pick it up, Robert, man. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, cool. Damn, dog, y'all trash. Y'all ain't gonna try Woody like that, man. None hey, of y'all. Bro, I come back, y'all just be trying, y'all. I feel you, cuz. I, I understand, but damn. Yeah, I want to call
69. You're five. Casey, Demarcus, Brandon. 69, okay? That screen's got to be set. That's me. And that's you, okay? Then you turn around, set a screen here and here. But we got to get y'all more touches. And when one of y'all goes to shoot, the other needs to be on the weak side. Bam and home if we miss it, all right? You're going to need to score, and you need to defend. You need to get all the 50-50 balls. Don't change none of that. I got you. You ready? You ready? Yeah. Hey, make sure you start doing what happened in this thing right here. You go downstairs, that's it. <laughs> Football, it did hit his hands and then it tipped off the other people. I don't never throw it away, I just throw it too hard and he don't want to catch it. He's throwing it over hard. But I need y'all to be aggressive against the rim, okay? Ball's trapped here. If this is JoJo, he's taking that pass and laying away. He's got to protect the rim right there, okay? That way, don't throw the lob. Right there, okay, JoJo? In the middle. Play aggressive. Right. Team on three, team on three. One, two, three. Team, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we, we got it next. All right. All right. Foul on JoJo. And then one foul on the other guy. One foul on the other team. Yeah. Brandon got one. And then they called a foul on um 25, the guy. Yeah. That was 25? This is what he said. He said 25. Trainer. Chris, how bad is it? Tie, we'll tie it up and keep walking. Got a dislocated finger. Get a trainer. They're killing JoJo's ass. Two. Chris Walker. Go. JoJo. Rebound. A little smaller. Don't pick up no stupid fouls. I know he did. I'm just saying, you can't elbow him back. They're waiting on that. We keep crashing the board, JoJo. When you get in the game and they run that zone, attack the gaps. I'm trying to fight through it, man. I just imagine, I'm, the, I'm just imagining myself like, man, I don't feel no pain.
My guy ain't got one foul call all day. He's been to the rim 37 times. They all can't be clean. Walker, you see how JoJo's foot is up? I need you back there playing your zone. He's doing the wrong thing. So show him on the board, JoJo, why he shouldn't be up there guarding a man. Go, 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 go help the house. Go help. The foul. Meet for two minutes. Upstairs. Upstairs. We got the next game right now. We need ice? Game. Okay, I'll get somebody yeah, yeah, yeah. on it. Can we get somebody to get him ice? I got you, dog. I got you. Yeah. Can we get JoJo some ice somewhere? Uh, one up now. We gotta get to the second one now. He's gotta get the second. Home team who play the Florida Rain. Are you okay? Ice? Ice and you're ready? All right. Well, He's the only one that can get in the beat. Think it, I think he just was overthinking. What happened? He's just can't. not playing his normal self, he's saying. Yeah, he just, where is he? Maybe you can find out. I got him. Just tell him to move without the ball, and a lot of good things happen. I got him. Upstairs, let's go. We got a lot of good looks. We just missed them all, OK? You understand that the refs are going to be that way every game. Casey, good job at keeping your composure when you were getting beat to death and still running great pick and rolls and executing. We haven't executed that good since Vegas. Great win against a good team. Everybody bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Let's go. Hey, listen. They warmed up real hard. 24 is a mother He's really good. Dan, reach over, so box up. You got to box up. Jojo, you're going to come off the bench, all right? Team on three. One, two, three. Team. You're big and strong like him, all right? He's the, he's the best player on our team.
didn't say a word. What none derogatory said. I didn't say a word. I didn't say a word. Don't I'll point at both. me. I'll send both to you. I didn't, you can't send me if I didn't say nothing. You want to? I will. I didn't say nothing. You can't send me. I want to hear me. another word out of you. I can talk. Next word, I you can go. Talk. You're gonna, you I want can to talk. On I didn't team. say nothing to you. You want to cheer I didn't say team. nothing to you. You can. Otherwise, you're going to Put me out then. Put me out. Because I didn't say nothing. Right there on the base line. It's those two guys from their side giving them hell. Tie game, right? Six minutes left. Demarcus, you good? Slide down more. Be set, be set. That's a block, ref! Ref! Did you see the block? Find out the outlet passes to him, okay? So I'm coming to it. He's gonna right he's gonna come to it and get the ball. You're doing a great shot you had, okay? And when he does bring the ball down or somebody else brings it down, y'all got to be available for passes. There was a minute he was looking to pass the ball and he didn't have nobody. Now, we gotta keep getting stops, keep digging out on 24. That ain't hurt us yet. All right, listen, what are we running offensively? Where well, everybody's on the same page. High, then give me a shooter in the corner, right? And when the ball goes up, the shooter in the corner has to crash the rebound, okay? You're getting back on defense or shooting the other three. Rebound, rebound, finish, finish, finish. Finish on three, one, two, three, finish. Nobody needs to panic. We have timeouts. Yeah. Take care of the ball. Hey, we got one, two. How many, How many timeouts? Out. Two. Hold it back. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Dallas, get ready. He's, he's hurt. Walker, go. Tell Casey. Hey, Richie, tell him to match up. Match up, match up. Match up, match up. Timeout, timeout, real. There's Walker in the game or Khalil? Walker. Play smart, play under control, grab the rebound. Nobody fouls. Nobody fouls. If they run it down, let them score. Like, let them score. And then just let them score. And then no three. Put your hold on. Put no three. Listen, everybody on this initial quake behind. Make them pick them up on this one. Don't finish on three. One, two, three. No gambling. No gambling. We're not in the casino. You okay? Did you get clocked in the head? Come on out, sit down. What happened? What did he hit? Come over. Six seconds. All right. Come here, Richie. He just called a foul. 
down, isn't he? All we can do is hope for a miss, okay? I did, I did, and it popped up in the air when we jumped for the tip. Oh, you lost the ball? No, when I threw it long, it hit it. He uh, tipped it he up. He tipped the deep, we struck it. Hey, listen, we're okay. It's all right. We're in our 2-3 zone. We're getting, we're working hard on stops. And let's run whatever Casey says. All right, he calls it. The rest of you guys are moving without the ball and knocking down good jumpers. Don't worry about the fouls, just play. Is it six, though? No, it's only five. So you just got to play. Three minutes. Hey, three minutes, guys. We need three stops. We're going to win this game. Give me three stops, okay? Hey. We're better than them. Team on three, man. Team. One, two, three. Team. Let's go, man. End of the game? That's ridiculous. We don't need a tech. We don't need a tech. We don't need a tech. We're good. We don't need That's a tech. That's crazy. Come on, come on. We don't need a tech. We don't need a tech. We can still win. We can still win. No, 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 no. What's that? Fortunately for you, that was a super pool, okay? So our, our two or three little mistakes at the end of the game doesn't send us home. So how mentally mature are you to go back and get your mind right for the really the only game that matters? Because if you lose the next one, that's three tournaments in a row, you're going home at the first game of bracket play. The tournament don't, ever, don't even start till tonight for us. You win tonight. And a couple tomorrow, you win this whole tournament. And everybody blames it on the ref, OK? You lose tonight like we done the last two tournaments when it mattered, and we look like a bunch of punks. That's really what's going to happen. So I know you're upset. I know you're mad. I get it. That's good. That's good. I'm not happy either. Y'all want to win this tournament? You go home, you shower get a little bit of rest, you eat, and you come back and you take all your anger out on whoever we play next. There's four or five of the top 20 teams in the country in this tournament. Y'all beat number three this morning. The only thing he's gonna remember is who wins the damn tournament. That's all anybody's gonna remember. Team Nashville lost, in play. lost in pool play last week, beat our ass, and went on to win the tournament. That's all anybody talked about. You wanna beat that? Or you want to be the guy that goes home again, the first game of bracket play, three tournaments in a row? JoJo, you didn't play a lot, did you? You ready? You going to be ready next game? DeMarcus, put some ice on that shit. Put some dirt on it. I don't care. Let's get ready to go. 
Tournament starts tonight at 8 o'clock. Take care of your bodies, drink a lot of fluids, and be f***ing angry tonight. Let's take, let's, let's, let's take this out on somebody. Let's win a damn bracket game. Chris Walker, I am Shake Shake. Hey, for real. You know, you know, Google it. Shape Shifter? Look what that is. Going to. Ryan, what did he look like? Like, 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 his face? It's easy. Oh, that's, that's QTV right here. <laughs> who, who you look like? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I swear yeah. if I don't, listen, if I don't. If I get the one, I'm saying it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Just like Man, what do you have? Damn. I just watched that video too. Ryan, don't feel nothing. Don't feel but nothing yeah. that got to do with Casey in this game. Don't feel nothing. What nothing got to do with You don't feel where? He can't get that high. Put it on the mix too. I'm not putting on this. Put your hands. Oh, you gotta get a camera. LeBron. Hey, is that 10 feet? Is that 10 feet? That's what I'm looking for. JoJo, you can grab the rim. Hey, is it is it low? Yeah. You gotta put that on the mixtape. You gotta put that on the mixtape. The last two tournaments, this is where we lose every time. We ain't losing, man. I'll be dead. All right, this yeah. is the game we lose. Last two tournaments, when we came in here, we were a little tired. It's the third game of the day. We always lose the damn teams we ain't supposed to lose. Are you all ready to win a game? We're not losing this damn game, right, Walker? Right, team all three, team all three, one, two, three. Get ready. Team that is here. Yeah, Matt Schultz. I think you might be able to dunk that one. Let's get it, baby. It's easy. I want you in their ass, man to man, the rest of this game. Let's go. Show me something. I know I get two in a row, damn, I should do it, bro. I got some next
name is Joel. Joel, yeah. Very nice to meet Thank you. you. <laughs> We're in Deerfield. I know my way around here. <laughs> no, for real. We're in Deerfield. For we real. Are. Let me hear me say it's easy. Let me hear me say it's easy. Uh, I, didn't, I, 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 I didn't get it. That's <laughs> oh. <laughs> I forgot the first record. We play any of the Elite first game. I'm going to get the W. You're gonna have to play man. JoJo ran from there to there with a freaking sprained ankle. There's no reason why y'all can't sprint. You need to be more aggressive. Okay? You're second guessing your shot. When you catch it, let that fly or go to the rim. Okay? This is what you and Dallas should dream of, playing against a 2-3 zone. Tell Casey to keep pinching. When you catch it, stroke it. Let's get two more stops and close this half out. Two more stops, finish. One, two, three, finish. How many is that on him? call but let me help you out a little fat boy don't shoot the ball that well okay so you know they're gonna set that high screen for him so play three steps off of him when he's way out there go under the screen that way you don't have to worry about playing catch up you know what I mean that's they want you to play catch up don't let them get in your head You go back in, you have four fouls. Oh, <laughs> and you're you fixing your play? And you're, oh, yeah, hey, you foul out Queens, I'm going to beat your ass. It's good to go back in and finish okay. this game, all right? Yeah. Go to the corner, B. Nice. Nice, Brandon. Go 
Jojo, you ready? You okay? Go, let's go. You don't fuck it. You got 30. Jojo, don't leave your feet. Straight up. Chris and Khalil. Good game, coach. Good game, good game. Good game, guys. Good game. Hey, way to score that thing, boy. Good game. Good game. Way to score. Thanks. Good job. chance to win this tournament if we're focused and we warm up hard. Six minutes till we play. Shoes on and getting loose. At three and a half minutes, y'all need to be doing high knees. Everybody stretch done, okay? Jojo, let's go. Shoes on. Jojo, three, two, match up zone. You know what we're doing, right? Jojo's mad at the world right now. Casey, ugly. Definitely ugly. Get money. Rich, I can be able to see you on it. Quincy. Quincy Miller. That's Quincy Miller right there. Right after the wheels fall off when they know it. No, fan in the bit. I got green on top of green. Are we freestyling tonight? Yes. I want to be a cameraman. Shoot right the home team who? Shout out the home team. He's the ugliest coach. Right now. That's me. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of communicating in this game. We have to talk to each other. We have to play every possession. This is the team that beat our ass. You understand, right? Yeah. This is the team that beat our ass. We owe these guys one. We owe them one. They get, they beat our ass. Go win every possession, Brandon. Rebound. Everybody's rebounding. Everybody's playing defense. And we're getting stopped. Round number three. One, two, three. Bam. Bam. Go. Get
missing their playoffs, man. You can't lose him. He's kicking your ass. Y'all just like doing this with this team. I'm cool with that, though, because we're going to come back and win this game. me taking my hand and just punching you in the mouth and you taking it and swallowing it and go home and it goes home with your girlfriend. That's how it is! You, can't be that weak. you ain't raised that way and neither are you! Damn it, go down swinging! Quit being punks! Man up! Run! College coaches ain't gonna take this from you. Why should I? Go, man up and run your damn plays. All right, clear it out. You need to come out? You need to come out? The reason I was asking about the fouls is because we played these guys before. We played these guys before. They push it right They push it. Look, if you're going to call it, if you're going to call it, we can't call it. Coach, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Listen, this is what we're doing. Yes, sir. This happens again. Yes, we're sir. taking numbers, and all those players are off. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This cannot happen again. I agree with you. We got a long way to go. This is a good game. We got to keep I, it that way. I agree. Fouls on blue six. One is shooting. Anything Joe. else here? No. Let's, Let's play. Jojo, you good? Gold talks to gold. That's what I'm talking about right there. Thank you for fucking growing some nuts. Can't let mad kids linger like that.
Let's go! Let's go! That's how you play with passion. Jojo, thank you very much, sir. My dog. You my dog for real. Let's go. Hey. I said, hey, you see this look these guys right here got? You see it too? That's how that needs to be every game. Hey, it's just personal. Get in their ass and let's get after them. Let's run, run them, let's out-rebound them, and let's act, be more physical. Let's beat their ass. Let's go. So they're about to kick somebody's ass. Good work, boy. It's six guarding Casey, go flat. Walker, go get him. What was he doing? He was in the post, post, both hands are on him. Behind him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, he's not that good, so don't hold him. Yeah. Just stand behind him with your hands up. Then when he gets the ball, when he shoots it, let him shoot it, and then just go up and get it. He's not that good, so there's no need to fight with him, okay? Good job. intensity, all right? We gotta take this shit home right now. They're not gonna quit, they're tough. Yeah. Damn it, we're tougher. I think we figured that out. Now let's keep that intensity. Let's push this down their throat. Go to the starting five and let's run this shit out right now. What do you do, hit you in the face? to the ground. They're holding him down low. They're holding the big guy. He couldn't even move. High. Use the screen. Yeah, <laughs> whole lot of that. Jojo dribbled over his head. Hey, that gotta be on. Ain't gotta be on one of the big states. Don't say. 
What happened? My elk, I hit my hand. Oh, I missed it. You all right? Hey, you better start moving that thing around. Get it, Dallas. Go. OK, Casey, go. Sub. Sub. Same ankle? Oh, shit. You rolled it? Get in some ice. Championships, 16 minutes away. 16 Simon minutes. Tiffany. Let's go. Let's go. Simon Tiffany. All the way. Finish. Hey. Let's go. Defense, okay? Do you want to win this damn game or not? No, I got you. I got you. Hey, relax. Right, go. Ref, that's the kind of shit that gets in and out of control because y'all been letting all this go. Letting the game get out of control. Get your ass on your side of the court. Get them on their side of the court. Hey, hey. Now.
told you what he was about to do. Come back out on top. They wanted to bump and do all that. So we came out with W. That's what it is. This is what we do. We get dubs. We win tournaments. That's what we all about. I mean, what else can I say? This was expected. Home team hoops for the Rams. Shout out to all y'all. Let's get it. JoJo, what do you, you got to say for the camera? <laughs> Four games in one day? Hey, get off the Chicago Classic, baby. It's that real exclusive shit. Oh, that was awesome. Awesome. We back on top, baby. Winning. Yeah, we won the round. 2012, 17 and under. Beasting. Shout out to home team hoops from the Florida Rounds. Smith AAU team in the nation or the country, whatever you want, you want to call it. But it's Florida Rounds, baby. Let's go. Home team hoops over everything.